for a week straight. So and I got fat. You got fat from fried frogs. She left. I was thin, and she came back. I was fat because I ate fried frog like twice a day. I know a lot of people, a lot of kids in school get pretty portly from beer, you know, because there's so much sugar in beer. Sup, everybody? This is Carrick with ACG, and we are here with the live Best Gaming Podcast number 419. Got a bunch of rumors, Spider-Man stuff, celebrating gaming. Sort of here to change the game a little bit. That's my plan, is to make it a little bit more about celebrating gaming. Um, Four friends talking about titles, talking about good stuff. That almost sounded like I said talking about titties, but talking about titles, talking about games, <laughs> titties, <laughs> enjoying ourselves, hanging out. <laughs> yeah, talking about boobies and games. Let's. We should have an entire podcast just about boobs. Um, there's we a did bunch of stuff. In the that, chat, actually. Once, oh yeah, in the chat, we, we definitely had other shit. They were all. They were just talking about tits, dude. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes yeah. it gets a little horny there. Sup, everybody. Oh, yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, Carrick should honestly do audiobooks. Maybe I will, man. Maybe I'll maybe I'll read a couple audiobooks. Make some money on the side. B Sparks is in here. Josh Carey, a a herpa, a herpa is in here. I don't know what that means. Herpes? A herpa, no, a, a herpa. D uh, Die Phillips is in here. Hush out, Ghoul, as always. Welcome, Dion. Jimmy Dean Man. Bunch of people I see all the time, which is pretty pretty crazy. Make sure to tweet out that we uh, that we're doing this if you want to, and if you don't want to, tweet out anyway. Damn it. Let's see. Let's start. First, let's start with what we've been playing. J-Man. J-Meister Fullerene. J-Perry. J-Source Rex. Uh, I haven't talked to you all week about what you've been playing. I think I've either seen Silver or seen uh, Abzi talking about but I don't think I've seen anything from you. What are you yeah, playing Yeah, we this haven't week? talked this week, I think, yeah. in the Discord. I've been playing a lot of Lords of the Fallen, and I know, you know I've, there's been a lot of negativity around it, and I get it. It does have some issues, but I do think it has a lot to offer. That, you know, it has some cool mechanics that I've been discovering, things that yeah. the game doesn't write out, tell you you can do, but you kind of naturally discover. Like some stuff, for example, you know, you, you could put on the lantern so that you see the platform that only exists in the world of the dead. Right. Let's say then you get on it and then you remove the lantern and it goes away. So So then that allows you to maybe drop in some hidden places and find loot and stuff like that. And there's a lot of mechanics around that. that so it's not just a gimmick, you know, it's integrated into all aspects, even combat yeah. too. So certain bosses will have different reactions to those lantern abilities and some of them unexpected and, you know, can really help turn the tide as well. So it's, I think very clever, uh, a lot of cool stuff there. I do have to say though, I don't know how you guys feel about like souls stories. I there's something Hit about it every single time I jump into it and I'm like, dude, I'm excited, right? I'm, yeah. I'm gonna read every description and then that lasts like two hours. <laughs> yeah. And I start skipping dialogue. I just like there's it something because like Lords of the Fallen has bad VA, right? You know, it's uh, I would say it's uh, hit or miss. There are some good ones. But then there's some pretty, yeah, pretty like, you know. What are they? Are they? I'm things. reading at a at a table read sound, or is it not fitting the character? It it is kind of like phoned it in. Ouch! A couple. Gotcha. A few, a few. You know, there are some really great ones. That's the thing. So it's kind of like hit or miss. And the setting is great. It's very interesting. It's awesome to explore. If you like getting lost in the world and figuring it out and stuff like that, it's awesome. You can get in there, do all that. But I got to tell you, the new game plus is basically unplayable to me because you don't have bonfires yep. in new game plus. Right. Yeah, remember we talked uh, about yeah, that. Yeah, we did yeah. talk about so, this. So you have to and, create them, right? Well, th but here's the thing. Uh -oh. That doesn't work because well. you can only have <laughs> one bonfire that you create in the umbral world you can only have one at a time so the the whole point of the bonfires is not as much as a checkpoint uh you know when you kind of learn the game it's more a way to traverse the world effectively gotcha without that there is a central hub that you can kind of cross between places but there is a, a great deal of backtracking you're gonna have to do and trudging through areas over and over that sounds like not fun yeah, I don't know why they did that. That's 
that could be a cool mode, like a challenge mode or something, but I would never play the game in that way because I love traveling back and forth. Like, yeah. oh, did I miss something here? You know, let me go back, farm that location that was really useful. Right. And I like doing that, in, you know, quickly. People in chat, do you feel the same way? I would say for me, uh, Endgame Plus, um, I like the switch ups. I like that people are doing different stuff with Starfield, and you see that kind that of stuff. That is true. But yeah, I mean, Starfield aced it. That's pretty hard. I mean, that's pretty. That that's like end game plus 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 at that point. Like that's pretty rough. Right. They did warn us. They I do remember us talking about this about three weeks ago, where we had seen the 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 post about the end game plus having that. So, I mean, it it, it it's, it's a what thing. It is. it is what it is. Yeah. Uh, has that been it, Lords of the Fallen? Yeah, and I played a little bit of Spider-Man today. A little bit of Spider-Man. Okay, we'll talk about that in a second. What about you, Silver? What have you been playing? Uh, nearly exclusively Cyberpunk uh, 2077. Um, I just started a new playthrough on the 2.0 patch mm -hmm. and then some of the Phantom Liberty content. Mm -hmm. um, I, I really like a lot of the changes to the, to the 2.0. Um, I really like that um, grenades and... Um, and health packs have like become uh cooldown items now that they're not like consumables. Um, right. I think that flows really well into the game's combat system. Uh I really still enjoy um that the different builds and different gameplay aspects, whether you play um as a net runner or stealth or like gung ho, um, they're all fun. Like th this playthrough I focused on like being gung ho, so like ripping off machine guns, mowing like insta gipping people with uh with machine gun fire, which mm -hmm. really is, gets really, really satisfying and really, really fun. Um, so the multiple ways to play it, it's become one of my sort of favorite games to pick up and play. Uh, it runs beautifully on the Xbox Series X by now. Uh, absolutely gorgeous game on there, uh, particularly with in um, the, the, the the display mode. I forget um, uh, what it's called, like the fidel yeah, fidelity mode, fidelity or, mode, or whatever it is. Yeah uh don't mind playing it in 30 fps it runs and plays fine in that for me um game just looks absolutely gorgeous in it but i am disappointed that like for pc um they haven't addressed the key mapping issues at all in the 2.0 patch you still do not have full full key map. mapping functionality for for yeah, cyberpunk's pc that bugged port. the shit out of me i had to do a mod uh, for that <laughs> like you you can't remap keys for like the net running and stuff like that. It it's really really bothersome to me, um, particularly as like a key accessibility feature that you should be able to to remap your keys for yeah. PC port. But yeah, sorry about that that key thing. Like, did you find that when you're talking to people in dialogue and you can walk at the same time, your W and S while you're walking changes the dialogue option, and there's no way to change that other than a mod. Uh, no, because or I don't I use I W. I don't use W. And S no. for movement. I use the arrow keys. Oh, does the arrow keys not change the dialogue options? Uh, I didn't find that. I I, oh, okay. I use I use uh, the, I always wheel. use the mouse scroller. Yeah, I yeah, didn't okay. tend that to use so move annoying. a lot. Yeah, you had to do like an I and I edit to to also, stop that from happening. Also, um, I don't actually use keyboard and mouse for Cyberpunk's PC version because of the lack of key mapping right. features yeah. for it. Switch so over I use gamepad for it. Gamepad. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, there was a lot of bothersome stuff when it came to key binds. 100%, yeah. Um, anything? You, I also, you sorry, some I also play right? some Spider-Man 2. Yeah. Okay, and today. we'll talk about that. Uh, what about you, Abzi? Yeah, I played some Spider-Man 2, but, um, but my highlight this weekend, honestly, a <laughs> week, is uh, modded Red Dead 2, dude. Uh, last <laughs> podcast, yeah. you told me about a couple mods. And I went ham. There are so many fucking amazing mods for Red Dead, and it just completely changed the game for me. Awesome. It's like a, it's like I'm playing the game. I'm like, this is a benchmark game overall. Like this is a game that no game has reached the levels of in terms yeah. of detail and immersion and what you can do in the game, especially with these mods. Um, so I downloaded some uh, some visual mods, a visual overhaul, and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, I also downloaded this thing called PED Damage Overhaul, so enemies are no longer um, squishy. You know what I mean? So yeah. it's like hey, even you, you know. So I was gonna say I mean, that's, it was. Yeah, I was gonna yeah, point that out. Yeah, both ways. Yeah, yeah. both ways. Low, low TTK. It also yeah. do, uh, does it so that the enemies um, are less Believe accurate, like more more believably accurate. And uh, while they lose health, they lose accuracy as well. And they bleed, really right? Cool. 
Didn't you say and something? Bleed, oh yeah. So the other one I got was mm-hmm. uh, was all shots cause bleed outs. So now like uh, like bullets cause people to bleed. Um, the the big one though is the W E R O, which stands for something, but it's euphoria somewhere in there, which improves the ragdoll mechanics and everything uh-huh. and the locational damage reaction. So if you hit someone like in the knee, he goes like to the ground and kind of holds his knee and stuff as opposed to like your stomach or whatever. And it's really, really accurate. It's insane. Um, another one is immersive scenarios. And that one is fucking crazy. You talked about it last time. The yeah, podcast. incredible. And basically, yeah, it lets you do any activity that an NPC can do that you can't because it was locked to the NPC. So you could like lean at a wall and smoke a cigarette. You can interact with like every item you can see it's very very contextual like you can do a lot but what what really surprised me was how detailed it is it was they carried through the quality of detail from rockstar into the mod so like for example like when i sat down around a campfire to light this uh, cigarette it wasn't just an animation of him smoking a cigarette he rolled the cigarette and started smoking and when I, when I pressed end i expected the animation to just end and go back to walking normally but no he kept the cigarette lit up held the cigarette with him as he was walking. And then a new contextual thing came up where I could smoke wherever I want. Like there are little things like that, depending on where I'm looking, because where the camera is, is where his face is looking. Yeah. Uh, so depending where I'm looking, he smokes differently and all the all the animations work properly. It was fucking insane, man. Immersive scenarios, it's called, and it's really, really well done. Uh, and then I got a crime and law rebalance, which rebalanced a lot of the wanted systems and stuff like that. Uh, basically made it so that if you hit someone with your horse, the cop Cops aren't going to come after you. Yeah. Um, there are a lot of different like improvements. Peter ran that board. game prior to that mod, man. Yeah. You, bump, you, yeah, know, you exactly. bump somebody with your horse and it's like, oh, yeah. what are you doing? Yeah. And it, the world yeah. came after you. <laughs> yeah. And then I got some gameplay ones such as I can rob whatever bank I want and I can. That's um, cool. I can purchase houses. And I can also, the, you know, the uh, system of the the bounty hunting system. Mm-hmm. Now there's like a couple quests of bounty hunting in each town. I made it in a, an emergent, um, what do you call it? A radiant thing. So like you can keep just doing bounties if you want. Um, yeah. Gotcha. So fucking amazing. You can go to Nexus Mods or like they have their own uh, own mod website. And Vortex. There's just a lot of really, it just heightens the game all around. It's, it's awesome. That's very cool. And then Spider-Man. Well, you said Spider-Man, Spider-Man started, too. so you did yeah, Spider-Man, yeah, you did Red Dead, anything, night. and then anything other than those two for the most part? No, that's it. Other than that, like my the, my big game this month that I'm looking forward to is Alan Wake too. So, uh, I'm just I'm just passing time until that comes out. Yeah. Um, Brandon has an amazing, probably the best super chat that's ever been asked. So we got to go over this. He says, "Would you rather get one billion to never masturbate again, or?" 100 every time you masturbate. Oh, that's such an easy answer. That's it's an easy answer. Every yeah, single, dude, come yeah, on. Come on. I'd be at a billion pretty quick. But um, yeah, a billion pretty <laughs> quick. Plus, you also you also have um, income that is reliable and you can do it whenever yeah, you want. Yeah, right. It's a job. It's a job. Yeah, yeah. You're you like, I got to make 200, billion, out, 200 bucks this today. D- so. This is a tough yeah. month. Yeah, We're gonna top to allocate some gotta, time gotta here. Yeah. Testosterone's yeah. low. I'm just not feeling it today. I mean, dude, I can make a thousand a day easy with that. <laughs> oh my god okay well there we go um anyway uh, uh, amazing uh, super quite, chat even at a thousand a day that would still take you quite a while to reach a yeah, to let's reach not a billion. do the math on True. that one for <laughs> sake. yeah l- yeah let's not That's throw fine. the calculator up hush uh, uh hush out ghoul five dollar <laughs> super chat if you could choose a radioactive animal or insect to bite you which would you choose oh but you choose the power you get from that bite okay because i was saying oh okay. seriously if you just get bitten that just suck yeah balls but uh yeah yeah, okay, what if so you get bit Spider-Man, by like but a, you get bit by a roach beetles. or a oh dude bombardier beetle that shoots acid? Yeah. Hell yeah, hydrogen peroxide. Or, or like the poop beetles, the ones that the are dumb just beetles? like hurling poop. Rolling yeah, the poop. Dumb <laughs> That's her superpower. You can just oh, like man. roll poop really well. Dude, I'd be. I, this is the honest truth, man. It, it. I'd probably turn out looking grosser than I do now, but scorp. I'd probably a scorpion, man. I grew okay, up. But scorpions wait, what's are just power? awesome. Stinger, something like that. Or maybe Wait, even... you want you want a well. He like didn't say you would grow on. one because Spider Man didn't really finger. grow or eight eight arms either. Oh. You know, I think someone with your you like, Choo. yeah, or bite them. I guess. Dead. But I, right. I've always liked scorpions, man. Scorpions yeah, yeah, are cool. friggin' awesome. Like, uh, but what about you guys? Yeah. Is there any animal that you or a platypus, man? Because those dudes are <laughs> incredible. Platypus, I wanna, man. I want to get bitten by a rabid dog, and then I want to be afraid of water. That that's my power. That's useless. 
That would be that's legitimately what, useless. You would just yeah, be a dirty, yeah, mangy that's animal. Actually, right. hindering you. That's chupacabra. That's you just no, explained that's, that was, chupacabra. No, the joke was that it was rabies that I you wanted would, to get rabies. You would be, you would be inflicting rabies on enemies. Of water. Dude, I'd get bit by an <laughs> no, elephant. No, I just die. <laughs> I just and die. have amazing memory. Yeah, I get bit I by an elephant. Memory of just an be elephant. Like, yeah, a eidetic memory or whatever. Just like I can remember everything. Sperm whales are pretty goddamn amazing. Sperm whales are ultimate ultimate boss battles in the in the deep between giant squid. Oh, dude! Oh, a giant squid getting bit by like a a squid would also be pretty cool. Squid man. See, that's the problem is we don't know what you would look like afterwards. That would affect you. Yeah, that is. Otherwise, that I would go problem. with like, like somebody said, an eagle. It's like, yeah, I mean, if you know, if you want to look noble and shit, it well, probably get would your be. leg bitten off by a sperm whale and becomes Captain Ahab. Right? Yeah, <laughs> well, true. Yeah, you, <laughs> you, you still look human. Um, when you look at all the like Batman, you know, not in other than the fear of bats and stuff like that, especially as a child, it is interesting though that most of the time they don't. You know, they, the villains are the ones that get mutated the worst. And you can sort True. of tell that when you look at it, it's like, so it depends on how much you mutate. Like I said, Spider-Man didn't grow eight arms. You know, he built the suits that do that or, or people built suits for him. But yeah, different animals would be very cool. I mean, it, it's like that's the crux of what, 90 percent of superheroes, maybe not yeah. 90, but yeah, a lot a, of them. Yeah. Massive number of superheroes. It's always about animals and stuff like that. Um but and anyway, the radiation thing, right? That you see that so much, dude. Yeah, and yeah. and it's like like real life radiation. You just get cancer and die. <laughs> yeah. But in the in the comic book, you you go green and yeah. yeah I, re I remember yeah, so like in, in an old Spider uh, Man comic, like there was like a, a mail section where people would mail in questions for like uh, one of the editors, and there was a funny question. I still remember where how Sandman got his powers. Whether he wrote he ate an, a radioactive sandwich. Oh my god, that's pun, actually a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I wa there's a Chevy Chase movie from the 80s. I don't know if, you know, none of you guys probably know that other than maybe Silver, but he has radio radiation hit him, and he gets powers, and at the time, um, he, like, uses it to have sex with a woman. He uses uh, these powers for all this crazy stuff. And I remember, even as a young kid, going, dude, that's not how radiation works. That's not okay. Yeah, yeah. It, it's so oh, funny. I had to sort like... of retrain myself to not take it serious, because I, I love you, Chevy you Chase. But Even as a kid, that didn't pass the sniff test. It, that you one like, didn't. No. I, I, I think radiation, I, it was probably after Chernobyl. And it's like, you yeah. know, so it's like, you're, it's post-Chernobyl yeah. kind of stuff. But prior to that, oh, sure, I thought, you know, radiation man, it's like, or, you know, gamma, um, rays. gamma rays. Yeah, that's exactly gamma where I was rays. going. Gamma rays. And you're like, oh, dude, gamma rays. I love uh, Samuel Jackson says that when somebody says, oh, it's just gamma rays. And he's like, gamma rays can be dangerous. And it's just like a <laughs> double, a double awesome hint. Um, reptiles can grow back tails. Some people are talking about that. How about a rabbit? I could be so cute. You just die from looking at me. Get bit by a crocodile. Crocodile. What what is he uh, what is he just Hard called jaws? Skin. The croc, I mean, you yeah. have croc killer. You have killer, killer croc, croc Thank from you. Batman, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Wait, something like weird popped into my head. It's like a very very weed type of thing to say, like a stoner type of thing to say. But Batman, has there been like a vampire Batman yeah. comic thing multiverse? Yep. Okay, okay. Because yep. I'd never put two and two together. Like he's a bat and. Vampire, uh, it wasn't oh, based true. on purely yeah. that it's the one where the virus I just talked about it in discord about six months ago I started reading it, but it's where this vampire virus spreads across everybody And mm -hmm. so they all get it and Batman's trying to save people then he gets it Um, it's not infected. Does anybody know the name of that comic line because it's a massive comic line So anybody in chat you know the name of this uh, comic line, but it's a massive comic line that involves that Um, I don't know if there's been separate ones though you know, okay. like, or where he truly gets bit by a vampire Morbius bat, but you do have... Morbius is saying? Is that right? Mm. Mm -mm. No, Morbius no. is Marvel. <laughs> no, that's, that's Morbius. the other one. That's the yeah. movie, oh, right? Dude, With, yeah. uh... Man Bat's dude, the other one I was going to bring up. left so fast, dude. That meme was like a five-minute meme. Yeah, the yeah. Morbin, the Morbin time. Mor Morbius. And Mor people posting GIFs of the whole movie on this card. <laughs> Literally, they go the whole movie in a GIF. Really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah came I never one, saw man. that one. Came that in. was J Jared Leto, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, there was also a I don't really have an issue all, with him. Every but. single Star Wars movie in the GIF, but at like 10, 100x speed or something. Like oh, really? Fast. Just super. <laughs> just, that's just that's, like the whole, all, all nine movies, dude. Just it's people ruin, people, people try to ruin <laughs> stuff a lot, man. I saw it with uh, the last bit. Uh, 
deceased. Yes, thank you very much, guys. Oh. Spike the bloody deceased, and it's well, uh, honestly it was a very yeah exactly. I knew you know it had some crossover. You know, dude, I want to see like a Vladimir Tepesh like Dracula plus Dracula Batman crossover. Fucking where they join up, they take yeah, team. they join up. Yeah, yeah. yeah oh, yeah. deceased is zombies. You're right. Uh, you're right. You're right. There is a vampire one then for sure. But the one okay. you guys are right. I'm talking about deceased because they're tearing superheroes in half. Like it's it's basically the boys kind of thing, you know, where yeah. they go right. that extra yeah. step. Um, so let's talk about Spider Man. So we've all okay. played it. Yeah. First of all, what are you guys' thoughts? We'll go. We'll go with the length of time shortest first. So Johnny, you played it the shortest amount of time, right? Sounds like just yeah. a little bit uh, today. A couple hours today. So what do great you... first impression. Yeah, right. Go for I, it. You know, I I really like how those guys do story. There's something about it. It kind of flows really well. It, it, in all of their games, I've I've had this thing where you can, you can kind of go through it and have a great time. Even though we talk about Mary Jane and we mm -hmm. give her a lot of shit, and I, I do think in this one she seems like a, again, it's very early. But I didn't get that big manipulative vibe that you talk about from in the, the first one, last game. Yep, right. Compa yeah, compare. So in this one, it's like you know, okay, we're a team. You know, let's make this work because Peter is in tough times or whatever. And I, I have a much better feeling about this Mary Jane than I did that other one. There was it kind of was a very self-serving character. She was very driven Absolutely. about her career, but yeah. it was like everything was an instrument for her to you know, to get the story she wanted or Absolutely. whatever. Absolutely. It's a good, good point. Um, yeah. And, and I just, the, the other thing I, I noticed is how awesome the performance mode is. I, I really just highly recommend people at least try it out because once you go into the performance mode, I think it's pretty hard to come back. Swinging in that is, you know, it, it's amazing. And then switching back and forth, like, okay, I'm going to do some stuff with Miles now in this district, whatever. And, you know, the suits have styles, which I'm such oh, a sucker. It's the greatest thing in the for, world. For yeah. Like a, just a palette difference, you know, because you like the suit, but you're maybe a bit bored with it. Change Throw up the color. a wrench into things and, yeah, go green. You know, yep, like, yep. there's some unexpected colors in there. I absolutely love the stuff with the suits. And um, so far, I like the idea of having the uh, common skill tree for, like, both of them and then each have their own yeah. as well. Because I was wondering how they were going to do that. And I thought that was a, a good way of putting that together. Uh did it feel, it, it felt to me like the first 45, 30 minutes, maybe 40 minutes of that game is the ultimate flex from Insomniac and streaming, though. The yeah, streaming tag. Of War almost, I know you yeah. talked about it already, but when you get flung across like... Yeah, and let's not say the blocks. boss, though it's out in trailers. Yeah, yeah. Dude, right? The first time you get flung, you're like, all right, somebody's man. flexing big time. By the way, you guys, none of you guys have seen this. Later, there's a mission that flexes on another game. And when you see it, I'm sorry. Wait, are you talking yeah, I, I, about yeah. Flexes don't, on... Don't, don't say the game name. But it's okay, a different but, game. But, okay, but it flexes on a game that was trying to do something yep. that it didn't yep. really do. Yep, we're okay, talking. Okay, yep. yeah, yeah. I yep. saw that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, that happened. dude yeah. you know. You know. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know <laughs> they were together yeah. and somebody dude, said, I was well, feeling it. <laughs> it was Boyd. It was Boyd from, uh, was or, or, it, from Brooklyn Nine, or Boyle, where he's just like, yeah, well, Boyle. let's try this. Yeah. Yeah, I had the same dude. exact thought. As I was going through it, I was like, dude, they, yeah. they really... It's yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. what's up? You cream of the crop will <laughs> rise to the top. And you're just like, damn. Yeah, yeah. That is, that's the thing about Spider-Man. There oh, are yeah. issues. We're going to talk about them for sure. But um, oh, yeah. the first... that Dude, it, it's like, mm. holy Christ, no wonder you have a bat suit to fly around. Like, you almost need it because the first time you get hit, you're like, all right, I'm, mm. I and, am and all, like, in another burrow right now. <laughs> and and like I thought I would like exclusively use it most of it, but no, it's like I weave in and out of of it. You yeah, know of the mean? suit. Like, oh, good, oh, you mean That's of the awesome. swinging yeah. and the and the. I want to talk about suit, that yeah. because I actually have we'll a very about specific about that, yeah. question about the wingsuits change to gameplay. But um, so so Johnny, when you 
so you did you did uh sorry you did performance yeah. um you 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 played a little while do you find your are you do you think you'll find yourself sticking to one of the supermen for the for the majority of the adventures that are generically allowing that so uh the way that i operate normally is i it's mission based so let's say that i'm starting now a mission i i choose it's almost like i'm choosing my loadout and that okay. only means i i'm gonna wear this suit you know it's kind of like role playing i guess you know i'm putting on the noir suit for this stealth mission or whatever right uh and then i would probably just stick with the one do that one thing and then mm -hmm. switch to the other guy so maybe if if i'm going out to take some pictures around the city i'd go maybe with peter because that's more his speed right and then maybe i'd switch to Ma. so there's an element of kind of role playing there Just giving some people some shit real quick because they're all being <laughs> in chat. Here I am. Do you saying, guys switch all the time, or do you kind of I, stick with? I stick with Peter for the most part. I stick to my Peter, as I say. I, I yeah, like Peter. His moves way more. Dude. I like, I his, like moves his moves way more. Um, yeah. I like. Do, you, you we'll don't talk like about the, well. Uh, you you some do other like stuff, the electricity but, moves, right? It's just I that, definitely I guess, do. Yeah, I definitely it's do. It's more iconic. I do, but the, like later on, like, like the kit for Peter. I don't know, man. I just, uh, it's, it's awesome. It's different. It's, it's, it's insane. Yeah. It, yeah. 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 I won't it, say anymore, but. Well, we can, we can, I mean, because those are out, you know, like you get the legs suit or whatever, and it just feels like that feels more spidey to me than the electro or, or symbio. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It just feels more spidey to me than miles, but that's just how I grew up. I mean, it just yeah. happened to be the Peter in the movies and I just oh, didn't. The uh, ultimate ability for. Yeah. For Peter's way cooler, dude. Let's yeah. let's be real. Oh yeah. yeah. Um, and then um, Abzi yeah. and oh, go for it, Johnny. No, I just continue, wanted to bring up means. one thing that I thought was super cool is how Miles joins you in random fights. Oh yeah. So you know, you pick yeah. a fight. You know, one of these crime things that pops up. You start fighting, and then Miles yep. is there helping you out. And in your review, you kind of say, you know, like sidekicking the shit out of uh, the companion stuff yeah. they have, like in fights, is is just sick yeah yeah because yeah. you know he sick. he's fighting it's not like yeah yeah he's he's doing damage oh yeah, yeah it's he's... not like he's standing there they're they're absolutely yeah, yeah. winging the shit out of people like yeah, if you let them they'll be most the... of the guys actually so exactly. you gotta sort of yeah, yeah. keep the game up yeah because a lot of times you look at the companion and it's like those extras in movies <laughs> yeah where they're not being watched so you know he's pretending to like broom to like sweep the floor, right. but he's not doing it, is he? They're getting he's, a union minimum in. for a side actor, yeah, and they're yeah. just standing there, and you're like, "Come on, um, Abzi and Spy, uh, and I almost call, I almost called Silver Spider, Silver. Uh, how long did you guys play? Spider Man, how was uh, it? around like ten hours, probably. How, how many did you play, Silver? Uh, five or six, maybe. So we'll go with Silver seven. for uh, next. We're we're going uh, shortest amount of time to longest. So Silver, what did you like? Because you're more of a overall spider-man fan for all the stuff what like what yeah. did you think and explain anything you want to talk about for sure i i was not as impressed um i think i have a hard time separating separating it as a game from like the ip that i know and and sort of grew up with so yeah. i'm i'm not a fan of a lot of the changes they brought to spider-man 2 i to really do not like the wingsuit oh the wing yeah we're uh, going to talk about the, the wingsuit for uh, sure uh the story free, kind of but i mean i already i already have sort of voiced my my sort of displeasure at there being two spider-man at once i'm just sort of over i've accepted that that's just yeah. fine that's okay um but i think there like the spider-man here feels a lot more like tony stark kind of because you get a lot of high-tech tools to play around absolutely with. pretty much Spot on. pretty much from from the get-go and one of the things that always has always sort of defined Spider-Man for me is that he operates on a shoestring budget, sometimes yeah. literally using like shoestring because yeah, he doesn't right. have he doesn't have anything else. But now you have like three techno spider arms from the very start and stuff. Um, mm -hmm. You're almost like Tony Stark. It's it just doesn't quite jibe with me in terms of like that being that underdog, that scrappy right. underdog, scrappy that, underdog that, that Spider-Man that Peter Parker has always been for me. Mm -hmm. um, there's a disconnect there for me um and that disconnect also carries through to like the movement system with with um the the wingsuit and and furthermore to, like tra traveling traveling through the city now like 
you 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 get icons all over the place now mm -hmm. with like the all the visual cues for like the wind gales uh and stuff like that, that. Yeah. yeah really really but i i turned the minimap off off as well but i'm not talking about the minimap i'm talking about yeah, just yeah the like end game the visual end stimuli thing. in in like the in game as you're yeah. swinging through the city like you see wind gusts all over the place you see those get to see those Gamified, like blue rings right? that you blue rings you have to fly through yeah, with the wingsuit to yeah. gain speed it's just messy man and it gets it gets to be like sensory overload for me yeah. um where th there's just too much um but in terms of like the actual gameplay uh recognizably still the same still fun still engaging uh it's really fun to sort of string a momentum and flow of combat together putting mm -hmm. together the different mm -hmm. moves the different gadgets i do miss a couple of um, some stuff from the first one like the way ultimates worked in the first one especially especially the one that was basically just you using one liners from peter parker to like um to taunt stun him. your enemies yeah um, right for quips that's yep, gone now that's gone uh you can't do that uh like that that for me that was the only basically the only ultimate i ever used in the game um yep. there is a huge variety of of suits but unfortunately i don't tend to use them because i just roll with the, the classic peter yeah. parker spider-man suit pretty much throughout uh and i tend to stay mostly with with spider with peter parker because he is the spider-man i know and love um i do love the performance i think he's basically become the definitive voice of spider-man for me yeah um better better than tom holland better than andrew uh, or Toby. mcguire or andrew garfield um yeah. i think he he just suits that part really really well um i really enjoy sort of some of the recasts or reinterpretations of characters i know and recognize uh that that reappear here especially one of my favorites um who was who used to play in comics played like a similar role to peter parker that otto octavius did in the first game mm -hmm. um who makes an appearance here it's really really nice to see him and it's going to be i'm really intrigued to see what they do with him um so all of that i think really works and it they build on a lot of the successful stuff but but yeah some of the changes just haven't really gelled with me all that well I actually think so every one of those is fair like mm -hmm. I'll, I'll, you always say fair stuff but what i mean is it, it is just there like you see the wingsuit right. uh, the wingsuit stuff i when i saw it i was like oh this is definitely going to get dinged like it's just there it looks yeah, like sonic I mean, the hedgehog you're just like web, what's going web, on he doesn't fly he he swings that's yeah the iconic, uh, no i get it i his uh, movement uh, pattern uh, is like the central and iconic, iconic part of the character yeah yeah for sure and we'll i want to break that down here in a second after getting abzi's uh like take what uh, 10 hours you said 10 hours is a long time that's yeah. not a short amount of time to play that game i don't know so, like eight to ten i don't know man i lost track something like somewhere around there but dude i want to start off by saying jesus christ bro you weren't kidding when you said that they use the dual sense for literally everything in the fucking game, <laughs> yeah, yeah that, 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 yeah, that, that is another the fucking thing. game yeah. in a cutscene someone's coming in a motorcycle i have to i have to feel the fucking motorcycle right that, yeah that there's a lot MJ's in that riding game. on or whatever mm -hmm. yeah. like chill out uh as a, for, for some reason though I, I had like four or five hours of battery life um before it so it you got die. you got it's four weird. or five out of yours so four or five i got hours, like and, and i still had like one thing left so i could have probably went for like six or something um i don't know if it's the way we played or whatever but i do know that the first time i got about four and a half and then the second one the the sl the fastest ever destruction of a ps5 battery uh was three point mm. three point two five hours because i timed it yesterday mm. um and then mm -hmm. i timed it during the review and it was about four three point seven five so i was like three point seven mm -hmm. i don't like it but i was like then yeah. yesterday i was like what the um admittedly there, there's some issues with how PS5 charges their controllers and how they top them off or if they do. And if you're playing why you've got it, char you know, there's all that. But it, it certainly yeah. does a lot, regardless mm -hmm. of any of that. It's every move, every everything, sound, everything, every step, every, every everything. step is through. But you Literally like that, everything. right? So are you in love? Uh, do you like yeah. it or do you I actually mean, feel I, I, like maybe it's too much? I like it, but it's too much, man. Like so, okay. sometimes I'm like, why? Do, why is this even? Why am I even feeling this? You know, but right. like I like it overall. I like the web swing, how it feels, whatever. Actually, I like how, um, how uh, both Spider Man feel different when you're web swinging, and they make different sounds. Make different sounds, you know yeah, right? Mean? Yeah, really, really cool. Sure. Um, so the first thing about the game that I realized, 
I played Miles Morales about a week ago. Okay, mm -hmm. so it's very fresh in my in my in my brain. Um, instantly, instantly, the combat feels like a, the next gen version of that. Like it feels just much better in terms of just animations and then impact and that type of stuff. I really like the changes to the gadgets where in Miles you had to like hold the R1 and then move around them in a fucking uh, wheel or whatever, but now you just like press a button with it right um i like those changes the uh i wish i don't like the finisher change i i like the finisher being on like a combo base thing you know like you reach like seven of a combo and you can do a finisher oh, i like okay. that a little right. bit more um but uh yeah so so the intro was amazing okay they had a very very cool onboarding amazing intro very very high test like very you're in the game and you're like fuck yeah and this is the power yeah. of the ps5 and you're so yeah and then after yeah, that after that for like three hours dude it it's was so Spider boring to me yeah i it, get it, you listen it's not even that okay i love the gameplay i just want to be fighting enemies okay but the first couple hours dude they had me do the slowest like I don't, i'm not like a huge huge like i'm not super into the story i like it i think it's pretty good i think it's well acted i think it's very well the dialogue is really good nothing's wrong with that it's just not my type of I don't really, you know, I just want to get to the fighting and stuff yeah. most of the time. So like that walking around and like talking about like the fucking things you can pick up in from the, the science and, and in the and science the, lab. And, shit. Yeah, I don't care, dude. I don't. I, so that was the kind of boring. But then it started to pick up. Right. And I was like, holy shit, this is really picking up. And then I got a stealth mission with the character. I was like, fuck you guys. Let me just play the game. Right. Yeah. So that's a little bit. But anyways, other than that, I'm no, I'm really enjoying the gameplay. Um, I really, really appreciate the attention to the to detail in this game. OK, this game has really, really good attention to detail. First of all, when you're talking, there's a lot of voice lines that just happen while in the, you're in the game world. And whether you're if you're web swinging, you shout it. And yeah. I tested this so many times. So I was did like, I. Okay, is this yeah, work? it's awesome. Right. And if you're walking around you and if you're sneaking, if you're stealthing, you whisper. So they they did a shit ton of work. Like, I don't know. They that, That's just a lot of voice work. Um, there's also the fact that you can do some quests with either Spider-Man and they both have voice lines for it, obviously. And within those voice lines, there's both shout and not shout, uh, which is pretty cool. There's a, a couple other things when it comes to attention detail. But overall, it's really, really good. Um, I think the there is some more clumsiness, though, with traversal. I'm getting stuck on a bunch of weird shit sometimes. Absolutely. Um, especially in closed off areas and like inside spaces and stuff. And you're trying yeah. to get to one thing and then, oh my God, that. That could but I saw an issue in the first one. It, yeah, yeah, exactly. Weirdly, it was not. It, it was not. It was. Yeah. It, it happened occasionally, but this, I feel, happens way, way more, more often. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It, I, at least for I, me. I think weirdly. Yeah. That was. And that lends itself to my other point where I've had a, a, a lot of visual bugs, like a lot of weird visual they they haven't they haven't bothered me but i've had like i have had some goofy stuff and one hard crash <laughs> i had a yeah, crash had you a had a crash <laughs> i had a crash i had a crash i was i was scared okay um, let's let's do bugs at the end after we do my question which is gotcha so oh, first of all are you uh, yeah. is that let me is oh, that yeah, your, yeah. Some, continue um boom 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 uh Fucking hell side quest shit. Yeah, it's like what you said, dude. It's it's you know, it's just you know, shit around I collect, collect, run around, collect, collect shit, stuff. run around, do the shit, yeah. do the weird the mini games. Um I I listen, man, I, I appreciate mini games, dude. And I like the those little quirky, like, hey, now you're gonna do you know, I love Yakuza and shit, but it's just there's strengths for this game and they need to just capitalize on these strengths i feel like you know what i mean um however i did enjoy a couple like cool side quests like there are some side quests that have like deeper deep in, in terms of like a superhero movie but like a deeper story or something right. there like a personal story and stuff so i did enjoy that but uh but overall I'm, i am enjoying the game i think i think the also, combat is fantastic yeah. also the, the amount of side quests that end with you having to like swing a person to an ambulance yeah that's weird it's, it, and, that gets a little old as well <laughs> like, yeah and a lot of them like it's like it's like you do a side quest right and you chase like a thing or like you do like a weird thing and you just know you're like oh they're gonna add this to the map this is gonna be like a thing i'm gonna yeah encounter yeah like right times. this is, this is <laughs> the know. new the next collect collect yeah the next collect-a-thon thing right yeah. um, um but yeah i just got like the 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 suit right you guys all know i'm not gonna say it but and uh, and it's been more enjoyable. Like shit just started kicking off more, right. and I'm 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 kind of more invested in the story. At, like after the boring shit that I that I said, yeah. 
I think the, the cup. uh you I think this is what you're talking about was the pacing last night in the, the Discord. Pacing. You said something about pacing. Yeah. I, I didn't pick up on what you meant, but I would agree that it's like over the top, out of control, and then it's like let's show you some cutscenes. Let's simmer the fuck let's down. Let's simmer baby. down, boys. Simmer down. <laughs> and you're like, Chill dude, this out. is You've exactly been way too much fun. Yeah, bro. yeah, dude. Too oh, much... <laughs> yeah. Um Chill but that out. first is really them flexing the power of like the streaming technology yeah, yeah. where they d didn't get obvious. to flex it. And yes, it's very yeah, it, yeah, yeah. It, it's quite and literally awesome. <laughs> obvious and awesome. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. And that was great. Yeah. That was awesome. And then later yeah. The stuff that happens, you're just like, oh man, okay. You guys are literally. It's almost like they're watching Twitter. Or they're watching, you know, videos where somebody's like, mm, here's this game didn't do blah blah blah. Even myself. <laughs> and then they're all, yeah. all right, here you go. <laughs> but uh, right, right, right. The, here's the thing with the wingsuit for me, man. I didn't mind mm. it, but they say the city is two times as big. There's more yeah. burrows. Yeah, and um, you have to cross bridges now. Yeah, yeah. which you, you can cross bridges yeah. now. Uh, you can also go in the water. So that's all been <laughs> sort of yeah. rectified. But the wingsuit, to me, um, it, I can't say it's too powerful because, well, it is. It's just his thing. But I do admit that it takes a little bit of the magic away from getting somewhere. There was something that I, I distinctly, the other stuff I loved more even than one, so it's not like it brought it all the way down. But I was doing it, I was like, man, I don't, it, it, and it's probably because it is so, dude, it's like he weighs, obviously Spider-Man weighs suit. zero pounds. But yeah. yeah, anybody can have a wingsuit, but that dude flies forever. Like, you can just hit yeah, the yeah. X button and grab water and fly. <laughs> yeah, like, he sticks into the water. Even I was like... What's he grabbing in the water? Like, normally I'd be okay with that anywhere in land. The X button that lets you basically just hop a little bit farther. But that wingsuit so got such positive lift. I mean, that thing has to be like 1,000 to 1. Because oh, he, gravity it is ridiculous Absolutely. how long yeah, yeah, you can yeah. like be in the air. And that, it, 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 I'm, without it, would I bitch? No. I would like the swinging by itself. No issue. With it, I do like how it feels um but it, it it does take a little bit of the exploration away i feel I think, I don't, what do you guys think go ahead so i think for 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 me part of the issue is also it feels like such a tired video game trope at this point particularly in like open world games for for like the wingsuit where it kind of makes it feel a lot a lot more like other generic open yeah yeah a lot more generic a lot more other open world games where it kind of takes part of the game's separate identity away yeah um i guess because it just it does just feel like an overused trope at this point like the bow and arrow uh that, <laughs> that, that gets thrown yeah. into open world games just so so that it's there uh mm -hmm. to give people yeah. that option or, or whatever i think that's completely fair um did you guys find yourselves purposely not using it Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Like, uh, like I just, I, I don't use it. I use, I swing way more than I do wingsuit. I only wingsuit yeah. when there's like long stretches where I have to, you know, just fly. Yeah. But like I when would. I see those like drafts and stuff, like I enjoy it. I enjoy it. But the the issue with it, I think, is that like like Spider Man sw like swinging is very very um unique to Spider Man, and then wingsuit is like just something that anybody can have. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Um, Johnny, have you been a Spider Man fan? Other than movies and the yeah, games? Yeah, I used to watch the... I, I grew up watching um, the animated the series. The animated, okay. Yeah. So is, is so, Peter also the... Not de facto, but you know the, gener the generic main uh, Spider-Man for you? Yeah. Yeah, very much so. I'm, yeah, it's no accident that they, you know, they call him Miles. Even, you know, it, it's Miles Morales and Miles Morales. There's no, like... Spider-Man. I mean, they don't. Yeah, right. I get what he you're doesn't saying. really have like a Spider-Man name. I guess it's kind of awkward sometimes. Uh, he's got his own thing going on, but yeah, absolutely. I I think of Peter Parker as the Spider-Man. Yeah, me. and I don't know about you guys, um, and I don't know if this is even correct, Silver. No, but in the game, it's like he was bitten by a radioactive spider, and then at the starting of number two, you have the sort of what happened in the past games, and I cut it yeah. on purpose for my review, where it's like Spider-Man says, 
I'm dating, you know, MJ, blah, blah, blah. I was bitten by a radioactive spider. And then literally Miles goes, and I was also bitten right. And I'm like, yes. oh, yeah, damn, that, that's, yeah, yeah. that's a that, little that's, bit closer that's to the home one that than I really would like. Does, yeah. That, yeah. that was what really bothered me in the first one. Yeah. Yeah. So I, uh, but I, I do think he's got his, you know, they obviously have made sure he's got his side quests. I will say this. I was very not happy with switching out some characters for side quests. I'm like, no, I'm going to, I'm Miles right now. I don't want to be Peter for this. And it's like, right. it, it, and I get why they did it, but uh, plain and simple, man, Insomniac is not great at side quests. I think we can now put, I personally feel we can put that to rest and just say, yeah, yeah. when it comes to open world, the one weakness Insomniac has is the side missions, side activities, uh, side quests. They are not great compared to the rest, where the rest, I think, is really good. I would agree. I think the only reason I really enjoyed doing side content and unlocking stuff was the suits yeah like in the true. prior games because you know that allowed you to to build suits new gadgets and stuff it was always and uh, just the movement was fantastic so it felt good to go for that one backpack not for the right. task itself but you know just the just being in the world and traversing around it, it, yeah, I think like Insomniac suffers from a thing where it's like um, they, they, they've created something so good, but th they haven't utilized it efficiently or in the best ways. You know what I mean? Yeah. They have like something really core and really, really good. And they, they built something so well done, but they're they they they, they I don't know. The, the, those gimmicks just don't don't feel like they need to be there. Like they, they, they can come up with different ways to implement the, that what makes the game good um, rather than make these like tedious things. You know what I mean? Um, Super Chat, Hush Al Ghul, $10. Spider-Man 1 captured the essence of the character better than Spider-Man 2. Traverse on combat and 2 feels more gamified. Context, grew up with 90s anime and enjoy reading Stanley. Um, so I don't even think, I mean, that's great that you did those things. I don't even think a person, if they played 1, they're probably going to see 2 and see the more gamified elements. And whether they like them or not, I think we can all agree they're there more. So regard, I mean, they are just there more. Like there's just more gamified yeah. elements in this one. Um, they're fun. You know, there's a lot of stuff that's unbelievable in it. But I think what Abzi said is like when you see the unbelievable stuff and then you get the pacing issues, or you see the unbelievable stuff and then you get a science project or a stealth mission. That by the way, <laughs> dude, there's stealth yeah. stuff. It sucks. It's rough. Sorry. It's rough. It's not only that, Johnny. It's like it's not even the same developer sometimes is what it feels like. <laughs> You're this stealth yeah. character, and it's like you can do this to die by and cover, and you do it, and it's like a generic move that doesn't even, like, go to cover sometimes. It just backs. It's it's like it doesn't capture. It doesn't capture even a stealthy character. It just captures boredom, man. Like, when it came up, I audibly, audibly by myself. I was telling Abzi on Wednesday. I went, oh! Like, are we, is it going to saw like another oh, Mary yeah, Jane yeah. stealth mission? Yeah, it was just, it, it, it's rough, man. Those things do not play out as well as they hope they play out. And what they're trying to do, obviously, is give you those breaks, you know, see a normal person. How does a normal person deal with these super? So I get so it. So what do you think is missing? Because I you, control, I think fidelity, a, a mission structure, enemy structure. All the enemies, everything is built around these powerful guys. And so they crib them almost like Mirage, where they crib out a bunch of abilities. And then they try to add one ability for that character, which is back up or dive into cover. And they give them a taser that, by the way, is we won't even go there, but it it's missing everything. So my theory everything. is that they are doing that to try to give you a sense of threat yeah. and kind of. Uh, underpowered, you know, like someone who is kind of out of their depth, which is Mary Jane, right? Yeah. I mean, she is going up against these thugs and like she she doesn't stand a chance, right? If she gets right. caught. So I kind of get the idea, but I think when it comes down to it, the gameplay has to be fun. And that's also what I get from other games. This is totally unrelated, but the ones where you have to hide in the wardrobe, like the horror games. Yeah, right. You know, that and you can't fight back, right? You can't, do, like, the gameplay isn't around uh, fighting back at all. Yeah, yeah. I think for me, it, it reminds me of that. Yeah, it's too bad because they're noticeably chunkier. 
They're just I think if they were shorter, man, I I would be okay with it. Right, but they do go for a while, don't they? Oh. I, I don't know about this one because I you know I haven't played those Particularly the first one you get. Particularly the first, the first one, one. It's yeah. like, say, I mean, grab a soda, right? Like yeah. we're in for. And for you could ride. say we're in for a ride, but it's not even fast enough to be labeled a ride. We're in for a very <laughs> slow geriatric yeah. walk. And it, sorry, they're rough. Hush out, ghoul. Uh, I, I agree with what you're saying uh, for sure. Um, but two's got a lot of positives too. So Brandon, $5 super chat. If you could absorb any fighting game characters move set, who would it be? I'd choose Sub-Zero. Abzi and I did answer this on a Wednesday podcast where I said Lau because I love him from Virtual Fighter. Um, what did I say? Yoshimitsu? You know, I don't. I don't remember which one. I it wasn't was it a Mortal Kombat? It wasn't a Mortal Kombat character. Scorpion? No, it wasn't. I don't think you chose a Mortal Kombat. I don't remember what you chose. Is there any oh. moveset in fighting games you guys are Maybe, really attracted uh, to? Like Kano having the flexibility to roll yourself into a cannonball. Yeah. Right. <laughs> a perfect circle and spin through the air. Yeah. <laughs> Basically this Sonic. Is, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What are we going to say? This guy, to... uh, fuck, I forgot his name. I think it's Zero. Was it Zero? He's from uh, Guilty Gear Strive. Who's the guy with the black uh, blob that turns into monsters and clones and shit like that? Oh, it's so cool. Um, I made him for a while, and he's fucking awesome. He has really cool abilities. And he's from Guilty, Guilty Gear Zero? Uh, I think a bunch of Guilty Gears, yeah. Oh, gotcha. A bunch of, I, pl I played him in Strive, yeah. Um, Johnny, you don't do fighting games mostly, right? You're muted, bud. Oh, you're muted. Sorry about that. That's all right. Uh, very casually, I, I, I do have a lot of time in Street Fighter and uh, Caps, uh, Marvel vs. Vers vers Capcom in my younger days, but kind of as of recent, only casually playing a story in a Mortal Kombat and right. that type of stuff. And uh, the, the other one that you guys always praise... Um, Injustice. In, injustice. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Schmeagol, Czar, 70, Super Chat. My hard copy of Spider-Man. PS5 was meant to be delivered today, but it didn't arrive. Have to wait till Monday. Glad I got this podcast no, to shame. make my Friday awesome. Feels bad. Yeah, Damn. that sucks whenever, you know, or I'll get the Amazon delay. I was talking to Reg, and he got a delay, too, where you know it's never coming. You'll get that delay where it's like, it's delayed. You get another yeah. one where it's delayed, yeah. and you're like, yeah. no, it's never. It's, it's never not coming. Yep. Somebody stole it off a truck or something. Uh, Fantasticals, $5. Good evening, gents. <clears throat> what would be funnier? Jim Ryan is the new CEO of Activision or Bobby Kotick as the new CEO of Sony? <laughs> oh, man. Well, that's, I don't think that's Bobby raw. Kotick um, getting a successful position would be particularly funny to me. Well, anyway. it wouldn't be funny, but it wouldn't happen either. <laughs> like, I don't believe either one of those would happen. Uh, yeah, but yeah, funny wouldn't necessarily be the thing. Um, I think Jim Ryan... Going to Activision would be hilarious, though, because of the Sony versus Microsoft lawsuit for two yeah. years, and then to fight, and then Jim Ryan's that like, would be. I, "Remember, it happened with the bald uh, uh, CEO that worked for years with Sony. He was really anti Microsoft, and then he ended up working for Sony's first party studios for like five years. So it does happen." Hush out, Ghoul. Thank you, Silver. Two dollar super chat. I think that's when you were talking about Spider Man. So let's talk about bugs. Nope. Let's do these other super chats. I apologize. Um. The Intern of War, $5 Super Chat. Love the show, but I also wanted to add, I had a crash as well. That's what we're going to talk about next. He says, I was within the first <clears throat> five minutes of the intro. Damn. Damn. Schmeagel, Czar, 35. Is there anything uh, that the first game did better? Did better than Spider-Man 2. I think there's a couple things that the, the first game did better. I think the story pacing was way better in number one. Yeah, I think it had more focus as well. I think the pacing yeah. was better. One, anyway. maybe Especially one superhero beginning. helped, guys. I mean, let's be honest, two superheroes yeah. is hard. Maybe it's, you know, adding that. And also just, I mean, I think, you know, it's also just the sheer scope of, of like, the abilities you have now, where you have to, you have to slot in different abilities into, your like, your ability um, wheel and, they like, yeah. equip them and stuff, because there's so much now, where in that you basic you you had some fairly basic stuff in um in the first one but it still worked for giving you versatility and, and abzi said he also liked that combo to adapt 
finisher thing better in the first one, which so yeah, I guess at least in Miles, I forgot how it worked in the first. Well, one. no, in in the first remember. one, it it worked on like momentum bars as well, on filling up on oh, okay. momentum bar as well. Okay, and then Miles, so that was very like similar. That one. Yeah. Um, Jason Hendricks, ten dollars. Have some money for being one of the few reviewers that agree with me on Far Cry Primal, the only Ubisoft game I've ever one hundred percented. Uh, that's it's that, still the best Far Cry game. Yeah. Brandon says, "Whoops, didn't realize you've been asked before." No, don't worry about it. Uh, because these guys haven't. We, we'll get repeat questions. It's no big deal. Abzi and I've discussed this because sometimes when we get a repeat question, it's like if you're on a desert island what and you're like, you oh, um, sure. No, it, it, it's, but it, it, it's, yeah, it's, uh, it has nothing to do with the repeat question. It has to do with the fact that I think a lot of times you're, you you want to be entertaining or, or informative. And it's like, if your question, if your answer is always the same game, it yeah. feels sometimes like you're like, man, I feel sort yeah. of bad. Like, I feel like I'm just sort of given that same answer out, which is another reason, by the way, sometimes when you, you guys ask a question for super chat, I'll ask a question, then I'll add to it because I feel like. Um, there might be some more that we can talk about around yeah, it. Yeah, give but, a twist to it sometimes. Yeah, yeah, I, I yeah, exactly. And uh, that's the only way I can make sure that um, we aren't repeating ourselves, but it, it will happen. Uh, and, and then You also have to remember that there are new listeners coming to the podcast. That's you, exactly what we talk about. Um, it's yeah, like you right. just have to, yeah. it, uh, as the whenever you're in retail, they always tell you, it might be the 1,000th time you're asked this question, but it's the first time that person has probably asked first, you that question. Yeah. And you have to be like, okay, I was talking to, so I don't know if you've talked to Sleeve about his job at retail, but he talks about that all the time. Yeah. They'll have a going out of business sale. The person will be like, so are you guys going out of business? And he's like, yes, we may, you know, but he wants yeah. to kill it. Birthday him. sale. It really is our yeah. birthday. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Phase 23, $20 super chat. This is how you know a PS5 Pro is coming. Why would Spider-Man 2... Of the year. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> a sale all the time. Why would Spider-Man 2 have a VRR mode unlocked? smooth off if it wasn't take advantage of ps5 pro uh vrr i d that's not how vr vrr works the smooth version of vrr is a developer choice to make to basically add the ability for vrr to have either unlocked or sorry uh locked uh what is it 60 i can't remember or if you do fidelity and vrr it goes from 30 to 40 that is not an indication of the PS5 Pro. That's quite literally an indication of how VRR works. And so I personally, and I'm not saying there's no PS5 Pro, but uh, you're going to see a lot of people doing that with VR. We saw it with Ratchet and Clank. Ratchet, and that was two years, two, three years ago before a Pro was even really shown. Um, I get where you're going, you know, from. I think also we're going to see that, right? We're going to see updates of some kind. We just don't know if they'll be ultra powerful. So bugs, crashes. Yeah. Um, you said you got a bunch of graphical bugs. What did you mean by that? Uh, I'll give you like an example. It's not like a huge, huge deal. It just happens somewhat frequently. Uh, one of them was you're biking with someone, and uh, and then <laughs> he was biking. Like his his legs animation were at a different rate than the biking. Uh, the actual bikes. Oh, like uh, it was unsynced pedals. almost. Yeah. So it was unsynced stuff like that. There's like um um there's just random fucking like you know cyberpunk t poses. Um, random like clipping things, like big clipping things. Um and uh yeah and just like some odd 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 thing nothing nothing major the only major thing that happened to me was uh was the crash and I crashed I died in a thing and then when it was reloading it just it just yeah it just crashed hard crashed wow okay I didn't get yeah, that yeah. what about you Johnny what uh any any new bugs any more bugs less bugs graphically anything nothing so far no oh really okay no um, no bugs but again very early. Yeah, right. But and Silver, you said you had some? Yeah. Uh strangely I haven't had any like visual ones, but I've had some pretty huge one with like triggers and stuff. Um like I had one where I, I've had a few where I came come out of a cutscene and I can't move. Um oh. some one one time um it didn't even spawn in like the model of the character, so it was basically just like it was first person, but mm -hmm. I couldn't move at all. Um uh, so weird stuff like that, uh, where I have to re then just reload the checkpoint and hopefully, and thankfully it, uh, it fixed itself. Uh, I also had one where, um, you know, there are sometimes side events where you have like a red exclamation mark that you have to put out a fire or something. Mm -hmm. and the, the, that red exclamation mark wouldn't go away. 
after I put out the fire. Gotcha. Um, okay. So I, I guess a visual point that that is a visual buck uh, yeah. where it stays on screen. Um, so just little stuff like that where it seems like there's some kind of script event that that breaks or doesn't trigger properly. Um, that's happened uh, quite a few times. Do you know what I noticed with this game, guys, is that um, I feel that one and Morales had almost perfect image quality or very close to perfect, no matter where I looked. What I noticed in this one is whatever version I did, there was flicker in a lot of places in the far distance, railings, window. There was a lot of um, the stuff that you would expect possibly to see from another dev and maybe not expect it from Insomniac. Right. So that surprised me for sure, because I noticed it a lot of places. Now, I did see, I don't know if you guys saw this, but there was a guy who did a, a breakdown of this versus Spider-Man 1 remastered, I believe. And he had a streaming bug during his video and didn't know it because Digital Foundry is talking to him. They're not being mean. They're like, oh, I think here's a picture from my game. All these buildings are there. This picture from this this uh, video maker, they're not there. And I did have that. Uh, I There were multiple times where I'd swing to something and, and the cutscene right. would uh, p sort of pop to a pan and the building would be like 1904 pixelate, you oh, know, yeah, and then be I've like, bam. Yeah, and yeah. and uh, there's other stuff they do that is magnificent. So you're just like, okay, well, that's something I expect in other games. By the way, AAA games, I've seen, you know, it's not like we're talking double right. A's yeah, are yeah. the only ones who do this. But uh, yeah, there's, there's a lot going on and it seems like there's a lot going on and there's a higher chance, you know, They'll probably be patched 99.9% .9 of these because Insomniac's good for that. But yeah, mm -hmm. you notice it. Um, would you guys say to you, the point that you are now, we'll go with Johnny first, to the point that you are now, you're enjoying it as much as Spider-Man when you were at this point in Spider-Man. So the the amount of hours in. Uh, no, because the first hours in Spider-Man 1 were truly magical. Okay. That's right. fair. Because it, it. it was very unexpected how good it was. Mm -hmm. And, you know, when, when the music swells and you're swinging and stuff, yeah. that hits yeah. in, a, in a very big way the first time you go through it. And now we're kind of spoiled. So, you know, yeah. we know, we know what a good thing it is and we enjoy it, but it just doesn't hit in the same way. I think that's I'm fair. liking it a lot, but yeah, it doesn't quite have the same impact. Right. What about you, Abzi? 10 hours into Spider-Man 1 or Miles? Well, maybe not Miles because uh, it's only like about the 15 same. hours. About the same. I wasn't like, a, I'm not like I, th these games to me are just like fun games that come out that I play and I mm -hmm. enjoy. I never had like this whole like, oh my God, this is the coolest or best thing or, you know, it was though like it, getting introduced to a new next gen, uh, next gen, I mean, last gen uh spider-man and being like oh shit his control and his traversal and I was, like we were very new to that so obviously i was like holy shit um like that it was more impactful i guess you know the first moments when you're you're swinging a new type the type of game right yeah um but uh yeah other than that yeah i just you know they're just i'm just i'm having a fun time when when the game when the game is fun uh, yeah you know what i mean so yeah silver yeah. what about you uh no i think <laughs> My, my my overwhelming i think sensibility with the first like playing the first hours is just a sense of how old i'm starting to feel because <laughs> because there is this sense that all wah, of these wah. sort of um old ips that i used to know have moved beyond me um, yeah right yeah to, into something entirely different which is fine it's just not what i recognize uh from from my childhood my answer would be uh yeah i like this better than one um, I think the starting part and the, the plot point pacing is off after the big starting, but I've got to a point that you guys have obviously not got to, and there's some plot smashes in this that are unbelievable, like legitimately the best moments I've ever played in a game where I'm like, holy shit, that was beyond belief. Like that was hmm. incredible. Spider-Man one felt like it had a more even experience though, but I beat it. Spider-Man 2. So yeah, I'm yeah. not. Mm -hmm. I, I, I've and they're it's they're, starting to pick up, man. It's starting to really yeah. pick well, up. Well, there's some me. stuff that's yeah. mind blowing, like mind blowing, and I'm just, that's all I'm gonna like, say. It's like I was. I just am like, incredibly <laughs> intrigued to see where they go with the symbiote and what they do with it because it that's that is a plot thread that's sort of been redone and yeah, yeah right by like different Spider -Man characters, yeah, and, yeah. like a, across different properties. So I'm really intrigued to see what they do with it. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, I, 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 I absolutely get where you guys are coming from, though. Uh, this is just the sad part of it. But when you look at Red Dead 2, right? Red Dead 1 was so old. They hadn't really done any work. They hadn't remade it. So you get Red Dead 2 and you're like, holy shit. You know, and a lot of you guys maybe didn't even play one. And then you look at Spider-Man and it's only a couple years later. And you also had a remaster and you had Miles and Miles came out on P. You know what I mean? So it's like, yeah. It, and, and it's awesome to buy into it because you know, it's you, you're like, dude, it's even if it isn't, yeah. even if it doesn't hit where let's say Spider-Man hit. I personally believe that Miles was not as it enjoyable as Spider-Man. It doesn't necessarily, yeah, exactly. It, it That's sort of the thing is like, and, and it's going to be hard to create the Genesis all over again because like Abzi said, the first time you swing in the original game and yeah. it works right, your brain is like, oh my, Whoa. finally, what the fuck, finally. And from that point on, you're just like, dude, this is amazing. And that sort of carries it. I, I think that's one of their greatest achievements is how everything seems to work you know how a cat always falls on on their Its feet on their yeah. legs on their feet it, that's how both the swinging and the combat feels because if you're in combat even if you're a goofy mofo and you know you like you hit stuff off tempo and you know you miss it, it doesn't matter man because you it still look it, awesome it looks great visually still yeah right and this is a game i loved sometimes because I'm, I'm playing in you know, the Lords of the Fallen and Lies of P where you have to be like super anal with the control and mechanics. And this is like, I can relax and kind of have like a super yeah. cinematic yeah. experience. It's awesome. Yeah. Spider-Man sort of carries you, right? Because his kick looks cool enough by itself that you're like, I look like I'm yeah. doing well. I look like I'm awesome. Yeah. Uh, we'll read these super chats and then we'll move on. Hush out ghoul, $5. In my opinion, Perry slash l1 button slash r1 button mechanics was added in the game code for upcoming wolverine oh yeah oh uh, that sorry no, but that reminded me the parry mechanic they also added in they did yeah did true you guys, oh, yeah. did you guys I, like that because that not also really. that was another thing that i didn't because really you're forced to do it with a with a certain type of enemy and on, i yeah. know you can use other abilities and stuff but i don't like i don't like that restraint uh, of the parry it's like, the same thing with seems, ghost of shishima when you're forced, forced for a stance in ghost of shishima my brain is like screw you like i don't yeah, i don't yeah, want to yeah, be forced yeah. especially especially yeah. when you come when you transition from um from the first game's combat where you're so the perfect dodge has been so ingrained into your yeah. momentum so yeah, yeah. To, to so the creation of that enemy really sort of it's a hard stop against that. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and, yeah. and and the, the dodge, I liked it as the only thing because you're Spider-Man and you're supposed to be acrobatic. The parry is just, seems like it's tacked on like uh, from other games. Yeah. And the yeah, weird exactly. thing is, yeah. And the weird thing is that certain type of enemy, when you dodge him, he just keeps like punching and punching over yeah, again, yeah. doing the same yeah. animations. Yeah. By the way, in the, in the first game, I, I bitched about this in the walk in the walk and in the <laughs> review where I was like, these brutes are a little... Even the AI, by the way. So the AI picked up on this because in the AI, it, it joked about the brutes where it was like, these guys are just, they're punch machines. Like it doesn't, if you yeah. don't use the move, Insomniac wants you to move. You know, I it's admit- Sometimes like the way they would move the punch. Yeah, they would move the punch to hit you. I am, we, Abzi and I got a question on Wednesday, like, do we like dodges or parries more in games? And I am a dodger I, and a roller. I'm a parry I, guy. I'm, and he's a parry guy. So it is interesting. He didn't like, but I know that for me, when I saw the light flash and I knew I was supposed to parry, that was almost always when I used a special. So I almost triggered right. the parry yeah. to be a special move versus the parry. So I'd see right. that mm. and I'd be like, special move. Because I you're yeah. you almost always have something. You almost all, and even oh, one of them yeah. doesn't work on brutes at first, but by the fifth level, it says like now brutes can be, I think it's the right. web yeah, yeah. shooter. And so I just leveled that some bitch up and I was like, all right, yeah. you guys are screwed. Like, I'm never going to worry about you again. So, al yeah. al Although just recently, only recently, Peter has a cooler, more satisfying parry. Uh, that's all I'll say. The, uh, oh, okay. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Okay. No. Yeah. I know what you're Yeah, yeah. So, so that's kind of cool. But yeah, I'm, I'm not a fan of that. I had uh, a quick question. Uh, uh, real quick, though, sorry, I want to yeah. finish before. Remember your question, sorry, by the way. Do it. not forget it. But um, Hush Al Ghul was saying he, was, he thinks it was added for the upcoming Wolverine. I It could be. I personally don't think it was. I think that because they had Peter and Miles in the same game, they wanted to add complexity and add complexity and make you like 
and make it more threatening yeah. and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think Wolverine, it could be added, but I personally, mm -hmm. when I look at the game, this feels like a game that could ignore Wolverine and all that would be in there. That's per my my feeling when I played it I was agree. that it's just in there because especially sequel. when you look at all the other stuff that was just sort of added in there. Yeah, for... sequel, right? It's just pops. Yeah, yeah pops, exactly. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. there is a very heavy feeling of oh, we just need to add more. We need yeah. to add yeah, more because yeah, yeah. it's a sequel. That's why we need to add more, whether or not it feels organic to the game or not. Right. We just need to add more. Right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Johnny, go for it. Okay, so quick question. In terms of villains, I thought the villain in the first game was quite solid. I thought, you know, he would, you kind of cared Are we talking for about Doc Ock or are we talking about the other ones? Yeah, yeah okay. I, I Great. didn't want to. Yeah. I, I guess we can say the name. It's been I mean, a yeah, while that, now. Yeah, that's like yeah, six years. You know, it starts off, you kind of care about him because you're, you know, you're, yeah. I don't know, he's, like a, he's a likable character and relatable. And then, you know, he turns on you and it, it's, uh, yeah, I, I thought that was well executed. I liked it. Like, I'm curious to hear from you guys if you think that's a better or worse villain compared to what's in this game. And I actually don't even know, like, Craven. Well, I, I do know love, I like they present Craven the main villain. Sorry, yeah, in the yeah, initial yeah. cinematic. Yeah. yeah. Can I, can I yeah, go first on this? Cause I want to tell sure. him. So, Abzi and I discussed this. My personal feeling is that, um, Peter is supposed to reflect Doc Ock in this game because he gets powers that, and the entire question is, He's what are you without little. the suit? Like what? And that's what I said at the end of the review. I was like, of all the one-liners that get reused for yeah. Spider-Man, Spider-Man's just a cheesy one-liner generator, you know, great response, but you're like, yeah, whatever. But there's one that did hit me and it's because I beat it. So I don't, you know, I'll just say, but when it came to the end, I remember Tony Stark saying that what, you don't deserve the suit if you're nothing without it. And there's yeah. some stuff that happens. There's the way he acts. There's the way all these characters go through it. And I'm like, it feels like Peter, there's a tiny bit of reflection. Also, this is the one, and in the comics, I, I'm sure this has been redone, but we talked about this as well. Every comic and every movie and every game is slightly adjusted. Uh, the uh, the Uncle Ben, Aunt May, sometimes she's dead, sometimes yes, she's not. Yes, so How old she is. How old she like is. That, yeah. So with Spider-Man oh, yeah. <laughs> Spider 1, he still had Doc Ock for a while where he had some responsibility towards Doc and he had Aunt May. In this one, he's got nobody, yeah, but he still as, as has... father figure. Right, he still has their words. And I don't know about you guys, but if somebody tells you a one-liner that sounds cool, it might help you the first workout. You know, just work hard. You know, David Groggins says you can stay work hard. through anything. Stay hard. Stay. And then an hour later, you're like, nah, this fucking hurts. You need Dave, yeah. you need Groggins <laughs> to be sitting beside you. So what happens yeah. in two is no one's there. And the only real thing is Peter is now teaching Miles. And I actually thought that was a really good play. It, but it does do it in the absence of a, a feeling villain because Craven comes from nowhere. But can we all admit that it's Spider-Man's fault, please? Those guys fucking never lock anybody up well. They're <laughs> all the villains are back. You're like, dude, Spider-Man, seriously, you got to eat How many shit times away. is the sand guy like or, or some dude, random electro some guy? Some random like... electro guy or anything. You're like Spider-Man. There's two of you. Could somebody yeah. maybe lock a door on a prison? I what thought the fuck we is had your solved this problem. Dude, oh, like, it's... Oh. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead, Abzi. I personally really, I like the vibe of Craven. Do you? I don't know who the fuck that is. I, this is the first time I, I don't know who the, uh, I don't know. Who he's he's just either. literally a hunter yeah. who has a magic I, yeah. jungle serum that makes him strong. That's what I, that, that's what I, uh, what I, oh, I didn't know about the serum, but um, I, I really liked him. Most, I like the vibe of his whole crew, but the, the, the thing that's making me like him the most is the, his theme music. I, I really, <laughs> that's really awesome. Like yeah. Music, Got the but, Darth Vader yeah. thing where you, I mean, we uh, all like Darth nah, Vader, but yeah. You know, with that like off tone. Oh, it's so good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, go ahead. Silver. Uh, what do you think about the villain between uh, one and this I, one? And, um, I mean, I think one of the things that intrigues me the most about this version of Spider-Man is actually the character of Norman Osborn. Um, even Absolutely. in even in the first one, mm -hmm. um, because Norman in the comics, he's always been cartoonishly evil. Yeah, really. Um, yeah. Like the, the the stuff he's done is like on the level of like the most evil soap opera stuff. Like at one, like one of the plot points in in the Spider Man comics was it, that he had an affair with Gwen Stacy. With Gwen Stacy, um, yeah. Like Peter's original love interest, and even got her pregnant. Um, 
Like it's just r- ridiculous. Um, but here there is this, this human element in him that really grounds him absolutely even through his evil th- with his love for his son, for Harry. Yeah. Um, I really enjoy Harry's sort of, I don't think it's too much of a spoiler to say Harry Osborne is in this game. Um, necessarily yeah. he's, he's in the, he's in it very early. Um, I think he's been shown in some content. Um, but I really, I really enjoyed this, the version of him so far. Um, I think, and and the deeper aspects also make sort of Norman's evil that much more menacing, mm-hmm. um, like his capacity for evil, uh, because there is that human element to him, and he's not just a monster necessarily. Um, I also, I I do really like Craven. I I didn't read that many comics with Craven, but he was sort of an interesting character. He ended his, he actually ends up in the comics committing suicide. Um, blowing his own brains out with a shotgun. Um, he's also attached to another villain called the Chameleon, who I think used to be like his personal manservant or something, who doesn't appear to to be in this game so far. Um, but he he's always been like a fun villain, uh, Craven. He was too campy, over the top. Um, and, he, and he looks to be an interesting addition. Um, but whether he's the main villain or not, I think is too early to say for me. Um, there is another there is another character I referred to earlier who's my favorite character, my favorite like villain quote uh in, in Spider-Man who appears in this game. I'm not gonna spoil who it is. Right. Um, but who who's in the comics served as like a mentor for Peter and there was an emotional attachment there that made fighting him uh t- at times very difficult for for Spider-Man. Um and I'm really interested to see what they do with him. So I gotta agree, I think. So I don't know about you guys. Every time Osborne shows up, I expect him to do something evil. Every yeah. time. So he's in a he's in a cutscene in number two, and I'm like, mm-hmm, what's he gonna do? Because I'm Defoe. <laughs> like, is he gonna yeah, yeah, have yeah. a mind yeah. break or whatever? And he's he's just a, a for a, you know for the parts that we're talking about, he's just a guy who's got a kid who is ill, and it, they did it poorly in Andrew Garfield's where the dad was abusive and just wasn't really like didn't really he was just in bed and died when when uh, Andrew Garfield's version of of Harry showed up. It just didn't play it well. This one. Yeah, it's very cool, man. They did a really good job because you do. I expect him to show up and Craven. I expect <laughs> I don't know about Craven. man. I don't even know if I want to talk about Craven. I don't like. I took a super serum but I can blow my own face off. It's like, well, if you could blow your own face off, Spider-Man would kill you the first time he punched you because Spider-Man's like punching ability is a billion, right. you know, or whatever. There's times where Craven uh, shows he, up. He, he does. He does pull it back. He never goes full on. True that, that's right? The, True. That's, that's Spider-Man's the, the entire thing is the justice the, of, of not going overboard. Of, yeah. yeah, that is true. That is true. It's a good, it's a good, I don't know about, I, I like that Abzi likes him. I will say that when he shows up, I'm like, Sometimes he does stuff where I'm like, dude, why is this guy so pa- what the fuck is going on? Like this guy's a badass. Yeah. Like what the hell? And then other times I'm like, dude, this guy's an idiot. Like what is he doing? <laughs> like he yeah. tell he does the yeah. age old bad guy thing and tells everybody what he's going to do. He also kills a lot of his own guys and you're like, "Craven, if you have a team, if it's a football <laughs> team and you kill the center, you're screwed. What are you doing? Why yeah. do you keep killing your own people?" Is it- you know, he's like, I snook up. I've been following, especially starting. We've seen that, but he just kills people. And you're like, come on, Craven, man. You got to, you got to, you got to train them or something. You can't, you know, if there's a also weakness, the fact you got to he like launches bone him up. pretty much a full scale invasion and it doesn't like immediately trigger. It's often like it triggered like a mil- full military response. Yeah. Know? Which is funny because the first one did, you know, or well, it didn't trigger a response. But I remember when the prisoners got out in the first one, it really changed the way the game flowed and stuff. Uh, yeah. Josh L, $5 yeah. Super Chat. Thanks for the pod, guys. Carrick, any recent games you consider doing a walk in the walk? So I'd love to do one on this one, but I want it to be patched a little bit. And I want to make sure that a walk in the walk is cool and new and interesting. And I don't know if Spider-Man 2 has enough differences in the city. Um, they did such a good job on the first one that it would be like, here's the same bridge I walked by in the first walk in the walk, and it streams faster. So there's yeah. not, I don't know. Maybe it's, Alan Wake, if it really hits, that could it, be a good one. Alan Wake, I've got some worries about. But yeah, Alan, we're going to talk oh, about yeah. Alan Wake because I don't know if you guys just okay. saw, but worries, our, Discord, our Discord's going absolutely ape shit why, over. Why they just announced worries, there. Dude? I, I, to, I told you that originally that 
the first game's open worldness was to me, even though it was cut down, you could still see it and interact with it. And I'm worried that you won't have the sense of a world and it will be hubbed, right. sliced off. And that was one of my, that's why I did a walking the walk on Alan Wake one. Oh. It, oh, okay. So if those things are missing, that ma the magic of them saying open, imagine this, imagine developers saying we have, a, this would never happen now. But back then they had an open world, Alan Wake, and they were like, this is not working. Let's not make it open world. We live in a world right now where every game's fucking open world. Do you see what I'm, like every game's gone the opposite. And so I thought it was pretty ballsy to say, not working let's do this but they left the open world in there and i'm just hoping you know and Alan, i don't know I'm, I'm i'm excited for the survival horror um, i am not kind of... not excited i'm right, not okay. not excited what i'm like, worried I'm, about I'm, is what I'm i loved about new... one may not be the reflection yeah, yeah, of what they want to do different. yeah right, um, right, right. and that's all that's legit and you know me i'm a little bit more held back because it's like i also don't want to get excited too much people are excited they think maybe i'm playing the game then they're excited in the discord then i'm excited they're excited we build on it and then i'm like right. game sucks yeah, and yeah. people are like what the f <laughs> um <laughs> jeffrey 20 super chat thanks for the content guys city skyline 2 looks rough as f performance wise oh Dude. geez yeah oh man Oh no. Oh my goodness. That it's, was bad. That's bad. That's not even like oh it's terrifyingly it's bad. It's That's terrifyingly like, bad. They literally can't release it at the state. They literally can't. There's no there's no point. There's no chance. Do you think somebody said they thought they were gonna like roll the release back? And I was like, I don't think so, but do you do you think they're like what are they gonna do if they just release it? They're just they're just gonna release it like like they can't. They said that they looked at their planning and financials and decided that releasing it now made more sense than holding on to it and fixing oh, performance. No. That's what the Dude, that's what their little thing, thing said. There's one thing you always say every single time. We always talk about, and it's like, oh, how No Man's Sky is really good right now, but it released terrible. Yeah, right. And and you gotta that first impression is very very important, and it's the game would would literally not work even on a forty ninety. You'll run it at what thirty FPS? No, 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 no. I saw somebody getting on, nine. On low. Nine. Oh. They got nine at one time. Now it dumped to nine and then went back up, but it still dumped to nine on a 4090. Yeah. It's like, guys, yeah. guys. That's, I don't know what they're, so, so apparently one of the things I was reading about is um, the first one was very CPU intensive. And so in order yeah. to, to kind of minimize on that, they dumped a lot of the, they offloaded a lot of the, the, the threads and the, stuff to the, the things, GPU. They offloaded a lot of the instructions of the of what the CPU would be responsible of, like simulating, um, you know, civilians and all that shit to the to the GPU, and uh, maybe they offloaded too much. You know, that's a theory. I don't. They they are obviously aware, but when they said it, the performance isn't meeting our expectation, I I did not expect this. I expected like, oh, it's you yeah. know a little bit under. Yeah. Yeah. So, it's pretty rough. Wow. Yeah. Uh, Wizard of Smoke, $5 super chat. What do you mean Spider-Man 2 has no bugs? Main character is a spider. Gang, gang. That is true. Yeah, it's got at least two spiders. No, that's it's not got at bug. least two bugs. That's an arachnid. Oh, that's an arachnid. I knew you were going to say it. I knew yeah. you were going to say like it. That's like somebody calling up. Technically. Up. Yeah, that's... that's I knew it. Sharks aren't fish, or sharks are fish. Um, I didn't even install it off Game Pass. They delayed the console release of uh, City Skylines. Yes, they did. They delayed the console. And by the way, the console version of Skylines 1 was rough. Mm. So... Since technically you're looking at systems that are more powerful, but they're not really necessarily the most powerful, they're they're in some they're in some trouble. I mean, guys, perform. I put this in the title. Um, I called it ports are rough, and some people may say, well, the port isn't out yet, but it's obvious that they delayed it for a long time, so it must be rough. But we're looking at a lot of ports that are pretty. They're pretty rough, man. Yeah. It feels like lately. I mean, fallen. I don't, uh, I don't even. Know. Under Fallen Lords was rough too on the on the PS5. What, Go ahead, Silver. What mystifies me is that it would be a port because I would think that for City Skylines, PC would be the main yeah. development. Yeah. Focus. I do want to point out that when I'm saying ports are rough, I City Skylines happened to come up in the question. Right, so okay. I was sort of, but I I absolutely agree it's the main right and the consoles. What I meant was the consoles must be rough because they delayed them. Oh yeah. So that much, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, yes, like I, yes. I'm just, that's sort of just me doing the jump. But uh, yeah, guys, I don't know, man. Um, we're done with Spider-Man, but uh, ports are, we saw this, Sony's about 50-50, I think, with ports. Maybe you could say 60-40. Uh, some turn out great, some turn out awful. 
but Lords of the Fallen was awful. It had a ton of problems on the PS5. I don't know if you got a control had issues. There was a game that came out re, uh, a couple uh, Star, Jedi Survivor. Yeah, Je- oh, Jedi boy. Survivor was also, bad on the PC. Oh, but... <laughs> also, the PC port for Last of Us. Yeah, that's the one I was. But yeah, one. that that thing was yeah. that thing was rough. I just think that I don't know what it is with. I don't know, man. I don't know. It's I, I think some of these games I expected cities to be pretty pretty buggy just because it's a sim game. Yep. I think we've seen that a lot of times and with these, right? Of the track record. Yeah, and because of their track record. Um, so speaking along these lines, I don't know if you guys saw this, but they dropped the Alan Wake resolution slash uh what do you call it? Resolution FPS like sort of Oh really? Re- yeah. Where, uh they tweeted out or something? Yeah. So listen so we're gonna go through this real quick. Minimum is a GTX uh twenty sixty. Okay. Six gigabytes of RAM quality, 16 gigabytes of RAM is the minimum, which is going to cause problems. Well, how, how many, how much RAM? 16, 16 gigs. gigabytes? Yeah, yeah, I for the most minimum. most gamers have 16 gigs now. It's not what it means, though. So, that's yeah. what I was, so, if somebody has 16 and that's the minimum, the number of people who still have 8 is insanely high, and really? 16 at the minimum, that is a very heavy, and it, this speaks to the Series S issues, too. Because they were talking about RAM. This is just Alan Wake's graphics engine, man. It's the control engine. It's like what they do. It seems to be heavy on RAM. And Mm -hmm. what I see with a 16 gigabyte minimum for the minimum. So that's the minimum. Is that a lot of people are going to try to run it on an 8. Or they're going to try to run it on 16. And they're going to bitch because one of their parts of their system is is rough. Because I also Mm -hmm. believe whenever anybody tells you minimum, Abzi, or at least for me, I, I, I never believe it. So if they say that's minimum, to me, that's actually, it probably should be a little bit more powerful. As minimum and as recommended, which doesn't make sense. I to saw me. that as well. Yeah. It looks like they pushed up the, uh, the graphics card though. They went to, or the CPU, they went to a Ryzen 30, uh, uh 37 X or Intel equivalent for the recommended. Mm. Um, mm. but then it stays 16 even, or, or, or v, it, let's see, looking at Ram, it goes to, it stays at 16 for ultra. Yeah. So yeah. that's interesting, um, and it could prove my point being wrong, where maybe they've just chosen 16 as the ultimate absolute end all for their RAM. Could be that. VRAM, they pushed to 12. Do we know? I think Steam, I think we're at 8, right? Most video cards, or the majority of Steam owners have 8. I could be wrong, but I think it's still 8. I think 8 is still RAM, like the majority. Dude? VRAM. VRAM. Oh, VRAM. Yeah, yeah for sure. On their cards. 6 to 8, I would say, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then uh, DLSS would be at performance. So, li- so this is what's interesting. DLSS is, is basically suggested for all versions. D- DLSS, there is no native in Alan Wake's requirements. It starts out with DLSS quality, weirdly enough, on the minimum. And then on recommended, it goes to balanced. And then once you go to 1080p and you start uh, increasing the settings, it goes performance, performance. I and wonder if they would have uh, ray tracing DLA, goes even higher. And if I'm if I'm allowed, because in Cyberpunk you had to download a mod for that, but you can't turn on DLAA and uh, and and uh, frame gen. You had to have DLSS with frame gen. So I wonder if they let us use DLAA but also use frame gen and not use DLSS. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, um, yeah. and then their ray tracings are uh, low. Would be 30 FPS, 1080p, medium ray tracing, 3070 RTX. Eight gigabytes of RAM quality for your DLSS, uh, and the CPU would be a 3700X, 16 gigabytes mm. of RAM. They, they do suggest Windows 10 or 11 for everything, so that's nice. Um, I don't know. Seems heavy to me. We'll have to see, man. I'm just hoping. It's pretty heavy. Yeah, it, it yeah. seems very heavy, but I have to admit I'm kind of smiling on the inside when I already know where you're going with this. Go for it. Do do you when I devs think I unapologetically do. release yeah. something that's like a beast? Yeah. Like, do yeah. you yeah, need? Like, <laughs> yeah. you need a, a, now I am. Now you know? I'm happy about it. Yeah, yeah you, you, you need a machine yeah. to run this. You yeah, know, yeah, dude, yeah, you, yeah. you're not. Now that Abzi <laughs> has a nice PC, he's like, <laughs> he's I'm okay. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, dude, good. Yeah, to but me. you know, because for a long time, devs have been like, oh, but what about the people who have a 1080? Like, yeah, we get it. It sucks for them, but realistically <laughs> yeah <laughs> you know let's let's make a kick-ass game and then 
Yeah, yeah. You know, you'll get, you'll get, worry you'll get about Steamer. running it. Yeah, you'll get Steam reviewers going like, oh, shit, unoptimized game not Absolutely. running on my 1060 Ti." Yeah, yeah. and, <laughs> and that's actually a risk, too. Of RAM. It is a yeah, risk. Of course. It is of a risk. Of course it's a risk. Because well, fuck yeah, just <laughs> the, the, the reason I mentioned that is because we, you know, we see day one uh, reviews on Steam. Like, if there are technical problems or yeah. even if it's just like their computer wasn't powerful enough to run right. the game, they will go yeah. there and post a negative review. And guess what? Now it's overwhelmingly negative and that hurts a lot on Steam. So yeah, yeah it's it's a heavy uh it's a heavy requirements, man. It's like it yeah. we're it's going to be interesting to see. Uh I do like that they've got the RAM at 16 all the way across which again points to them probably using some optimizations to get the S running cuz they talked directly about RAM being an issue with their uh graphics engine, their engine in particular. So Having a 16 all the way across is both a positive and negative. A negative because we know a lot of people are going to try to run it with 8 and bitch. We know a lot of people are going to try to run it with 16 while streaming, opening Discord, and have two browsers open. And I don't know if you yeah. guys have ever done that, but you open up Chrome, and if you don't have a memory saver in Chrome, you're already... software. Yeah, it, right, right. So <laughs> it'll be very interesting to see uh, like how all this is handled. I do believe, this is my personal opinion, that a little bit like um, City Skylines, we're getting warned ahead of time. That's just my personal. It feels a little bit like, hey guys, be aware. Hey guys, be aware. This uh, yeah, this thing, uh, this thing may not yeah. run perfectly on your system. We'll have to see. We'll have to Pretty see. Soon, Ab thirty-two Abzi gigabytes. don't care. Abzi don't give a shit. He's like, I got a good PC. And you all, you plebes can screw off. I'm just joking. He's never said that. <clears throat> no, this is literally the reason I got it. Now is for this game. So. Oh, did you? Uh, for yeah. but, or or it was the uh, game the that plan? made you go like. I want to run yeah, this the, well. The, the, yeah, the, my plan was to have it before Stalker 2 comes out because that's like my big, big next big yeah. thing. But then Alan Wake 2 just kept, I kept getting more and more hype for it. So I was like, you know, I'm just going to do it now. Do it live. Yeah. Here's the thing, man. I want it to run well. I just, <laughs> I feel like I've been, I feel like when Silver said he feels old when games and their <laughs> narratives change, I feel like, I feel a little old because I'm just like, I've lived through enough of these weird yeah. requirements. Whenever I see a minimum, I'm like, mm -mm, mm -mm, I'm sorry. There's very <laughs> few games. Like, yeah. Come on, let's just be honest. There's very few games where the minimum is the minimum. It's usually more the recommended yeah. is the minimum. And when they say minimum, you're like, what's that really mean? Like, you like know, to be able to open the game, you know? And like yeah, go, right, go right. The men, yeah. Men, yeah. Men, and yeah. by yeah. the and, way, and, if and, there's anybody out there who wants to be wrong, it is absolutely me. Like, I can't wait to be wrong because i just want games to be good like i'd love to yeah. give a buy for every rating for the rest of my life be like dude bye bye game's awesome bye bye but bye you also touch, remember games touch, like jurassic touch. park trespasser we do i and i hold it near and dear to my heart <laughs> there are certain games that are like well you know how abzi was saying um this is sort of one of the linchpin games to make him move forward in tech i do have linchpin games that remind me what a real bad game is so, like, when I hear somebody say this is the worst game of this or this is yeah, the worst yeah. game ever, I'm yeah. like, bro, man, you, you ain't never yeah. played. <laughs> the, you, like, you either aren't playing stuff this year. Like, Redfall, somebody yeah. say this is the worst. Redfall is legitimately terrible. But what I'm saying is if somebody else says another game is terrible, I'm like, have you played Redfall when it first came out? Because, I mean, this might level your playing field a little bit. Um, Man, I hope it does well. Thank you to all the new. We got uh, five new uh, Discord slash uh patrons in this podcast thank you very much i definitely appreciate it christopher says acg do you think alan wake 2's performance demands won't matter as much since it's epic store exclusive fuck no it'll matter more right won't people bitch more because it's epic it's exclusive people are going to add the exclusive to the bitch and it's going to be well, it doesn't I, perform and we're oh wait it's not going to be on steam right mm -mm. oh so we're not all their stuff is reviews. epic yeah. So we're, we're not, not going to get Steam, Steam reviews, you know, there Johnny. Go. There, there you go. go. Yeah, yeah that, think... that's what I was going to bring up. I <laughs> think in a the way reviews, they are less... So even worse. <laughs> well, I think they're less, uh, how do you say, exposed to that yeah, yeah. problem. Be yeah, no, it, 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 it's absolutely yeah. true. No, you're right, man. They're absolutely less exposed. Go ahead, Silver. Just, I think a lot of that's died down. Um, like the, yeah the exclusivity outrage towards Epic. I think a lot of that has really sort of died down. Have you given yeah. up on it? I know you were like hardline. I'm not getting No, it. no, no. I haven't got I haven't installed the the Epic store. 
Yeah, uh, you, you, not, you refuse. <laughs> I, I don't bitch loudly about it. He'll but... die on that True. sword. Yeah. yeah, he doesn't bitch loudly. A lot of people do. SBZ, SBZ $5, says nothing. Thank you very much for the super chat. Continue to say nothing if you want, or say something. Thank you very much for the super chat. Um, I don't know, guys. Man, I'm crossing my fingers. I want it, I want it to be good. I want Abzi to feel like the very small chunk of cash he spent, the incredibly small, almost negligible cash that he spent on this new PC, is pays off. Right, Abzi? It will be amazing. It will be amazing. And it's wow. going to blow my fucking socks off, and I'm going to replay it like three times to play the I hope I'm not in Discord D talking Abzi down like a like a person on Don't. the on a ledge when let when that comes this. out. Let, let him have yeah. This. Let me have this win, man. Come on. Uh, so win. we've seen a lot of these ports and issues, and we're seeing people like Johnny said. I do love the I do like the idea of pushing the tech forward and being like, guys, no longer can we have. Yeah, I, I love that they're. Go ahead. I love that Sorry. they're only digital as well, which lends lends into the I I they cut down the price of the game and they're like, listen, this is fucking useless. I know people are gonna not like that. But some people, but I, I believe I believe it's a smart idea. I I I believe that overhead for making physical copies is just stupid, in my opinion. I so I have a question I, for I you, for then, um, yeah. because they did drop the price. It is a cheaper price because they said it was digital and stuff. Would you? But you're okay with like limited run games doing their own fit. You're you're just saying. You'd rather see. I a don't care for physical of... anymore. I'd rather see mm -hmm. all physical go away, and no longer do devs have to worry about the overhead anymore. Oh, because of the devs worrying about the the price. Yeah, of it's just out of... it's just useless. Sorry, guys. I know, maybe you know, you you guys, everyone has their reasons, but but that's that's how I feel because I just tech, I just don't I don't even have a CD ROM in my PC, dude. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, dude. How long has it been since I bought a PC physical version of a game? <laughs> oh. I don't know. I have no idea. Dude. Like in the Man. 2000s or in, in the early, like in the late 90s or something. Uh, an Assassin's I mean, for Creed. Me, for, I for me, it think. was probably like six, I want to say like six, six years ago. Six years. I own a. Um, mm, wow. Like I think it would have been, been like around 2018, I think was the last time I bought like physical. Everybody in chat, how long has it been if you own a PC, PC um, that you bought a PC physical version of a game? Haven't because, they stopped completely for well, physical, for PC? It feels like a lot have, because I'm trying to remember the last time. I think I got a Ubisoft game. I think I got an Assassin's Creed, maybe. I know they do some sort of like maybe. celebration of physical editions for games that succeed, like Cult of the Lamb and right, you know, other true. indies and yeah. stuff. Where I guess you get a box and it's like, here's a code. I don't know. I don't know how it works. Um, people like Abzi and I want to upload our consciousness for God's sake. You're being backed yeah, up, Abzi. You want to become an engram, like in Cyberpunk. Yep, exactly. <laughs> yeah, uh, dude, I'm going uh, to upload ingram. my consciousness. I'm going to add fucking Neuralink. I'm going to modify the shit out of my brain. I'm, you'll I'm you'll show up as that. a digital avatar and I won't be able to figure out how. And it's because you're already going to be like... Yep, and I'll gonna... advertise for you. I'll be the one carrying the advertisements wherever you go. In yeah, it'll AR be on coffee. your face. It'll be like ACG shirts. <laughs> um, Brandon says, what other... $5 Super Chat. What other heroes would you guys like to see in a game? Me? Arrow. But I think I still think it's too much of a copy of of uh, Batman. But I like I like Oliver Queen. I think he's I love yeah, that I like character. That could be a good game. I, I like bows that. and arrows. I, yeah, I like shooting yeah. arrows. A Hawkeye. Yeah. Did you did you mind Hawkeye? You don't watch Marvel movies, so I don't know why. I don't I watch that. Marvel movies, but uh, I would like a Hawkeye type of game, like a cool a cool assass assassiny vibe, running through the city, shooting with arrows or something. Yeah, like, different arrow types cool. and stuff. I think I'd be you cool. know Johnny I like Horizon in a way, you know. Oh yeah, yeah definitely. Because Ryzen had the crossbows, heavy bows, war bows, light bow. Right? Yeah, they yeah, had yeah. they had a bunch. Go ahead, Johnny. Sorry. I think the the problem for me with Hawkeye is the contrast because he is paired up with friggin' <laughs> the Hulk. Yeah. And, you know, and and it's, it's like, like who the fuck is this guy at that point? I mean, yeah. Right. Yeah. I mean, you're pretty agile. You're pretty cool. <laughs> Your hair is great, but yeah, like. Yeah. This guy is a freaking. Can you guys come? Can you guys who fly come down nature. and fight me? And you're like, seriously, you need a yeah, jetpack. Yeah, there's like Iron right? Man over there flying, yeah. and then Hawkeye like. Pew, yeah. pew. Hawkeye's got I an mean, arrow. It's, That's it's the like problem. The weird, it's like I always found it weird, like oh, Superman versus Batman or whatever, or Superman Batman. Right, like, I I know where you're coming it's from. Fucking God, yeah. you're, you're, Let's you're not fighting. pretend. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Absolutely, it's always like. 
oh, there's kryptonite. So now he's oh, being yeah. brought down Make to the same level. To... <laughs> dude, I, I'm so done with that stuff. Shoot him with lasers, dude. I don't know. <laughs> These guys are starting a superhero uh, war as we speak. Go ahead, Silver. <laughs> there, there are two very old ones I would like to see. I've mentioned one before, which is Zorro, uh, like an open world adventure Open game. world Zorro. Uh, I think that could be a lot of fun. Um, like switching between like playing Don Diego and playing playing Zorro, um, schmoozing, and then oh, I miss Zorro, heroics. man. Um, yeah. Schmoozing? Also, yeah, yeah and your trusty horse, <laughs> Tornado, uh, the rapier. Uh, the rapier, whip, people, it. just yeah. in case you've misheard that. <laughs> rapier. <Continue. laughs> yeah. um, no, I, uh, that'd be cool. Like, in a Red Dead way, you'd like it, or would you like it more fast-paced? Uh, kind of like... it, uh, Sort of in between. Um, like, the... The action elements would be like fast paced adventure. Uh, mm -hmm. And then you would have slower for the sections where you would be. Like, yeah, because Persona Zoro's socials. got the romance thing. Like, that's yeah, the yeah, exactly. difference between Batman exactly. and like Zoro. Oh, yeah, Zoro's yes. like, how you doing? He's, He's the joke. He's a yeah. yeah. He's yeah. like a James Bond type of guy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, dude, he is. Yeah. 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 Like, if you watch yeah. even the Zoro from a you know two Zorro, decades man. ago Antonio so, yeah, Zorro, yeah, yeah antonio's yeah. like how you know <laughs> like you, he's got yeah. it going on or the, Go the original Zorro. anthony hopkins yeah um, oh yeah or that, Zorro, yep, Zorro versus Django or something or Zorro and Diego. Django. that would be awesome go go ahead like, silver I, you had I one remember, more too uh, like the adventure series from um from like the 90s that had a really amazing yeah. theme tune as well um but but the other one would be the shadow um, yeah the shadow would be sweet yeah, yeah the shadow would be sweet those are both good uh, options because they're older ones. Those would be, it'd be fun to, yep. uh, that's sort of why I like uh, Arrow because he's not, so, you know, it's like he's on the ground. I like the on the right. ground stuff. Yeah. The, the like ground and level. By the way, that's why I was talking about Hawkeye to compare. Like, that's why I think the Arrow could be fun because he's not being, yeah, he's right. Not he's not tag teaming up with Gamma Ray, with, dude. Yeah, exactly. He's not paired up with these ultra powered guys. So he stands out, you know, because yeah. I mean, you just watch his training routine and you go like, OK, yeah, you know, um, the, the third turd says the shadow too bad. Younger generations have no idea what that character is. That's why a good game, right? Gaming leads movies and shows now. Yeah, a good game could bring Zoro. I think Zoro's a little problematic uh, because people why? be like, oh, well, you have to risk yeah, the, like the, the, you also have like the Spanish <sighs> colonial stuff. But I think that could be done. Fairly I well. personally I see. Here's the thing. I'm not saying I think it's problematic. I think they could do it well. I just think in today's culture, every single thing he did, people be like, he's abusing this person or he's and, like, and he's he, nagging he her. Certainly... You know, he's nagging or he's, he's pretending think, to not like her. Less... And you're like, oh, go ahead. Sorry. I think that would be less on Diego and more on like the. Like the colonial forces he would be fighting against yeah and, and i think you could do like the rome Rom, the Ro, i think it's very possible to do the romance angles in in ways that are that are not proper you and I, I i we agree that you could i'm just saying the world wouldn't let you do it well they would bitch you i just Maybe, feel that but i don't i don't feel that that would be enough of an issue really because they've always bitched about something have you seen anything? I, you I, would, know, any I of hope those you're right because I would love to see those. Go ahead. Sorry, recently, John. no, sorry, I was just wondering because it, if memory serves right, it it was a bit sexist in the sense that you know, like all the yeah, ladies yeah, yeah, were yeah. like court, like they're, they're only existing to be courted and to be like yep. swooned off their feet, right? Um, there were some exceptions of like. Can I just say ladies. real quick though? It wasn't called oh, Zorro it. and the chick. It was called Zorro. <laughs> so why Zorro. would you spend 10 hours going, here's their fucking life, blah, blah, blah. There is a time frame where you're like, it's called Iron Man. It's not called Iron Man and this jackass who's his third in command. That's what it's bothers not me. It's Spider-Man and Spider-Man. It's not, it, and so, it should have yeah, been called Spider-Man. We don't Spider -Man. need to cover all we don't bases, need to cover right? all bases, and it doesn't yeah. mean that you're not, that you're suddenly, oh my God, this is blah, blah, blah. It's like, dude, it's... It's that main, it's that character's main storyline. But uh, remember, yeah, I bitch about this. Abzi and I talked about this for a long time on Wednesday, where I am tired of bad guys having their poor feelings explained. This is why they're a bad guy. I'm like, yeah. dude, I want a bad guy. When somebody says, why did you do this? He's like, because I woke up this morning and I fucking hate you. That's what I want. I want a bad guy that doesn't sit there and tell you he got, you know, abused as a kid. He got beaten up, blah, blah, blah. No shit. I, 
great, whatever. I don't care. I want a bad guy who thumbs everybody and just smashes them. And you're like, what are we going to do? This guy's destroying everything. And you don't have so to sit there like the and explain guy. them. He just like he just wants to. No, Johnny, Johnny is talking about stuff. Xenos from Final Fantasy XIV. He was. Pretty uh, you much know who that. I'm talking about a little bit? Galacticus you know. or whatever from the from the movie. What's his name? Um, Thanos. Thanos okay, is. A, okay. But Thanos, they went yeah. and they're like everybody was hungry, and I'm like, then snap in more food, jackass. Why'd you <laughs> okay, kill everybody? It makes no sense. <laughs> Sorry. This guy, this, this guy Xenos, he's a fucking villain. I love them. He's like my favorite, one of my favorite villains because he's literally like. He's blood. He just wants to fight. He just wants a good fight. Like uh, that's all. That's all. Like, you mean he no wants to test himself, past. kind of thing? Or yeah, yeah. There's no troubled past. He's not. He's he's mean to everyone. He he fucking destroyed whole villages. He's like he wants relentless. power, right? And he and... just yeah, and he just wants to fight. He just wants to fight the protagonist, and he just wants to kill a bunch of people. I love that. Zero man. justification. By the yeah, way, I want to point out. I absolutely also love when uh, characters are described. What I'm saying is that for the most part. Uh, we're not getting that because everybody's so nervous that they have to explain why the bad guy's a certain way. There's yeah, there's yeah. there's two isms on everything now. Well, these guys mm -hmm. did something bad. So did these guys. So obviously they're equal. And you're like, what? Yeah, no, they're not and, equal. What? And it, th there's a lot of hesitancy to portray some of these older scenarios yeah. where yeah. it was a sexist society. Ladies yeah. were. It, at they the were raised to be day. courted at that time. Like there, that was the that thing. Was the reality, and you know, we've evolved past that, obviously, and yeah. still work to do. But it, it kind of sucks that it. Some, I guess some groups feel they can't do a game about that because that will maybe be misunderstood as them saying that's okay or them, you know, promoting that type of thing. When in reality, you're portraying a reality. Right or an older time, an and older place. reality. Hey, I got a yeah, question. But, Did Zoro stab I, and kill people? Uh, no. Okay, continue. He did not. He he tended to like just uh, leave wound the mark. them. Right. Like, yeah, wound either wound them, incapacitate them, and then like, so like Batman, he left a bunch of crippled people clothes. who yeah. couldn't walk ever again, couldn't shit without a bag, and they call him yeah. a good guy. It's like, dude, Batman just yeah screwed up seven hundred people with a tank, and you're like. Yeah. It's all right. They're still breathing. Go ahead, Silver. What were you going to say? <laughs> just, I'm just you know, pitching now. I, I think it goes a little deeper than just whether they can portray it or not, because it's not... You're right. It does... It, it would portray, like, a given set of circumstances, but then there is the question of how you choose to portray that and whether the way you choose to portray it actually helps perpetuate those stereotypes and those particular gender roles or whatever it might be that you're portraying. So there is a question to how you portray it, not whether you portray it. Yeah. But that's because... I mean, they put girls in World War II and Battlefield. That anything is possible. <laughs> Remember when that became a thing, even though technically there were girls in World War II. Um, <laughs> uh, death Proof, $2 Super Chat, Quantum Implant for Gamers and My Retinas Till I Die. Yeah, we're going to get that, man. We're going to get that. It's going to happen, Right. It, yeah, I'm down. Will, I'm down. it will happen. Abzi will be the first one to have to have cataract I'll surgery. It. I'll be a testing. Uh, you'll be, uh, you'll be the first one. Uh, Vo uh, Void Evil, Huff, 400 super, uh, super Chat, but I think he also said he screwed up the Super Chat. Um, repost. Oh, there we go. Oops, no message for Super Chat first time. He says, anyway, I got MGS5 physical back in 2015 for PC. No game on disc, just a Steam installer. <laughs> I forgot about that. Oh man, yeah, that's true, right? That's true. I think last time I that's bought a, a PC, lot of times. like hard copy of a game is like 2004 or something. Yeah, 2004. That's something a long like that. damn time ago. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 uh, I don't really uh, want them, but I'm not as far as Abzi is where he wants them removed. <laughs> but I do, abolished. Yeah. I do like the idea that it would be nice to give a developer the option without immediately saying you're evil. Yeah, you know, yeah. just I like, mean, and and it's cheaper for us, dude. It's cheap. It's fifty dollars, but like, not all companies would do that, obviously. Right. Uh, uh, yeah. Right. Yeah, obviously. Right. And we want to see that hey. one twenty game. We're talking to devs out there, Abzi, and I want to yeah. see what a one hundred twenty dollar <laughs> game looks like. Yes, please. A yeah. real one hundred twenty dollar game, no ads. Yeah. What would you give us for? It better be 
Smoking. And like an actual standard, not like fucking. I bought an island in the Europa MMO. For yeah, like right, right. I, yeah, <laughs> it would be so interesting to see them try yeah. to sell us a, a one hundred and twenty dollar game with no ads and be like, "Here's why it's one hundred and twenty. Especially now, yeah, yeah. when you look, we just talked about this. Uh, Exxon voice acting and Spider Man fully voiced all the. You know, which used to be, I don't know about you guys, I used to feel voices were one of the first things you would see missing in a B-level game, was voices, because it seemed to cost them too much, and now we're starting to see even the B-level games get full voices for everybody, you yeah. know? You still see GRPGs, where the guy's like, yeah, bloop, that's still you know, in the background, and you come context, up to him, and he's like, yeah. he hello, my wife is missing, but anyway, did, would, do you want to buy something? And you're like... What? The fuck? Why is this guy selling shit if his wife's missing? And that, that was just it. Um, Young Mad Dog, $5 Super Chat. Not so much a superhero game, but I'd love to see Godzilla. S a game like Destroy All Monsters. Or me, Ooh. I'll add to this, Rampage. I would kill. Rampage. We talked about this prior Rampage. to the podcast starting. The new King Kong. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Guys... What happened, man? The one on the 360 <laughs> was fun as hell, dude. It's so bad, man. It's like... <laughs> no, I think it's a troll, it's... though. Like, I think they purposely... You think it's a troll? Because you can't... What engine... Are, are they just using an enhanced engine? Right. Just, what like, engine really would look that created? bad? Yeah, that's, that's, yeah, yeah, a, yeah, that's a true thought Without process. trying to make it look that bad. Right. Yeah. I don't know, man. It's bad. Like but it's if anybody... some random com like people, right? It's not. I like think a... it is. I think it is a random okay, okay. group. Yeah, I would love yeah, yeah. to see a true Godzilla. That would be great. Yeah. Imagine in Godzilla, <laughs> yeah. couldn't in Godzilla they have all those different monsters because of radiation. Mm -hmm. So imagine, yeah, right, right. imagine like, boogie, boogie. imagine custom. Yeah, the big boogeyman of radiation. Imagine but, making yeah. a fucking <laughs> Godzilla of your own. Like, I want to give him wings. I want him to be thinner. Yeah, dude, yeah, that'd be like awesome. Destroy the city and stuff. Yeah, Ima like yep. imagine a fully dis destructible kind of like ED, uh, EDF, ED uh, Earth EDF. Defense EDF Force. Yeah, five, but you but know, actually like good and technically actually, proficient. <laughs> I mean, I love the game, but holy shit, yeah, it's EDF <laughs> rough. Should just stand for Eternal Defense Force because it has yeah. not changed in six no. titles. I really, thought six. I really hope we'll, get, I hope we'll really get six uh, in the Western adaptation. Are they thinking not of doing soon. six? Uh, I would imagine they they are thinking of doing it. I'm just hope we get it oh, soon. Yeah, it, it has lot. It has released in Japan. You know. Uh, oh, has it? Okay, I wasn't aware of that yeah. EDF is awesome, but it is uh, it is a true sign. You you know how we hear it, where somebody would be like, "This dev hasn't really hasn't really improved <laughs> on their sequels." It's like it's like Days of Our Lives or something, or like it's, Golden <laughs> the Beautiful. It's Days like of Our Lives, a game. It's it's, it's more like FIFA or or the like, yeah. In the, in it, it, sort of it, it, it they just they spit EDFs out, and each time just little. Just little touches here and there. And they still moved like all of them have really bad spinal fusion surgery. Their their animation is terrible. Everything. <laughs> and, and the city, like Johnny was talking about fully destructible cities. But if you really looked at the destruction in those games, uh, Abzi had to go. He'll be right back. You see some pretty terrible stuff. It is just, yeah, that game is rough. Um, yeah, but moving, still, I mean, moving around in a giant neck suit or mech suit, or rather, um, like sucker punching a Godzilla. That's... Um, you don't get that anywhere else. Yeah, really? you don't get it anywhere else. And with EDF, I don't know about you guys. I love the 1970s uh, UFO look that they'll throw oh, on. Sure. That shit's yeah, yeah. insane. Even, I love that. Even in EDF 4 when it was more like 1950s yes. uh, War of the Worlds. Oh, yeah. so good. And um, I remember I was playing with my friend Roger and the first time all the chrome robots came out and it looked like yeah, that yeah. old, like like you said, 60s, 70s, Flash Gordon, well, even before Flash Gordon, well before Flash Gordon, I don't know why I said that, but... Um, the War of the Worlds. Yeah. War of the Worlds stuff. And it was just that, that idea of what future might look like and that chrome looked every... Oh, so good, man. And then, of course, 500 enemies on screen, which is always a plus yeah. when, they, when they're just like, screw it. Um, anybody have any questions in chat before we move on from there? Let's... Hey guys, excuse me one minute. Sorry, I'm gonna get a coffee. Be right back. No worries. Um, let's jump into some of the stuff. We got some different questions. Rick Flair wants to say Nintendo's secret sauce is ridiculous. Um, is Mario coming up on the inside of Baldur's Gate 3, Starfield Hogwarts to overtake its teammates for game of the year? Oh, its teammate, the uh, Tears of the Kingdom to take game of the year. So have you done Wonder yet? But also has Pikmin 4 as a competitor as well, I would say. That's true. Pikmin 4 doesn't get really mentioned much, does it? No. It doesn't really, yeah, yeah. Yeah, dude, I mean, Wonder is incredible. It is it is a work of art. Uh, like, hmm. I don't know if I would say it's better. Have you played Tears of the Kingdom? 
Not yet. Not yet. No, I still have some personal issues that are sort of keeping me from it. Uh, as um, sad as it is. I think Tears of the Kingdom is going to get lost anyway because of February. We, t I think Abzi and I talked yeah, about this. Yeah, that, uh, and Hogwarts Legacy as well. Um, yeah, agreed. Because Hogwarts, about, whenever you guys mention it, I'm like, that was this year? Oh my God. Yeah. I, you know? that, that game's not quite in contention for me, but I know it is for a lot of people and they might, might forget about it. Yeah. Because um, it came out at the year. And I want to make sure when I'm talking about Game of the Year people, I'm talking about you guys, us. I don't give a shit about the Game of the Year awards. I'm talking about what we what we've played. So some people may not have played Baldur's Gate. Uh, Silver hasn't played uh, Tears of the Kingdom. So when we talk about Game of the Year currently, right now, I'm talking about personal. I guess is the easiest way to say it. Um, Pikmin Four came out. What what were its reviews? Were July. its reviews high? Uh, they were they were fairly high. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're starting to get a lot of really high reviews for a lot of these games. I think Mario Brothers Wonder may win against Tears of the Kingdom it, for a lot of people who played both just by sheer recency. But not not even re recency bias sounds bad. I don't even mean that. I just it it's just there and it's incredible. It's beyond belief art wise. Like I cannot even describe until you see it running and start and it feels so good. Oh. I think good. recency bias is also very valid. Like I I doubt I doubt anyone's gonna Oh it is for sure pick Hogwarts because it came so early on and if it came like around this time I think it would have a fighting chance for sure it's just yeah. a, it's just the, the, the state of things I think it's a state of a 2023 that is five years of releases yeah. that might be an exaggeration but it's at minimum two I think we can agree that the, you know if these were spread out to two years it, it, it'd be two great years and now it's one year that is like almost confusing in the amount of titles. Um Abzi, do you did you do Tears of the Kingdom? Yes, of course. Did I you loved it. so you loved it. So is it on I loved it. your I personal like list? Hours. Um oh yeah, for sure. Dude, it's one of the best games I've played. Um Okay, okay. So it's still on your so personal list. It's not on my like oh in 2020 and in, in 2023 for sure it's in my it's in, in probably like a top in the top five. But uh but overall, I don't know if it's like my top ten games of all time, but like somewhere top twenty, I would say. Like, it's, oh it's damn, an awesome of experience. all time. Yeah, yeah, because Breath of the Wild was like um, the 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 implementation of the the way you do open worlds after so many open worlds being like you know kind of similar, just uh, just the way they did it and the wonder and exploration. Um, that's why it rated higher for me because it was like this new thing, right? Yeah. And then Elden Ring did it, and I loved it even more. And Elden Ring like went rose to the top and then um so tears of the kingdom while well, i think it's way better than breath of the wild in so many ways you know what i mean uh it's just the the impact it had on me is probably right. a little less than breath of the wild yeah interesting I okay them. i gotcha i got yeah. you. is yeah. it in a weird way sort of spider-man one and two because you played because it is yeah but way more way more. i think way more yeah yeah okay yeah. go ahead silver Wait, uh, sorry what were you gonna say no i was just agreeing Oh, um, five dollar super chat, ten dollar super chat. Appreciate uh, appreciate the commentary on games as always. Hero on business. Thank you very much, man. Matt Clark, five dollar super chat. I just want to know when the hell are we getting a new Splinter Cell game? Oh, you're gonna get a new Splinter Cell game and a new Bloodborne, and you're gonna get the sequel <laughs> of uh, Half Life, what? and you're gonna get the sequel of Hollow Knight all at once, all in one day. Uh, <laughs> feels I, bad. It feels bad, man. Yeah, I don't know, uh, I, dude. I don't even know what to say about that. I don't know what's going on. Um, it, it reminds me but of I, Thief. I, yeah. Thief uh, 2014 I didn't like. The Ubisoft one. Mm. I think it was Ubisoft yeah. as well, right? And no, no. Uh, Was I, it no, not no. Ubisoft? I'm sorry. No, no that no. was still Idos. Yeah. Was it still Idos? Okay. Uh, but it felt like a Ubisoft game was what I was getting to. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and we haven't seen a new one of that, which I actually assumed they would just say, oh, we'll take that loss. We didn't hit it. And then Immersive Sims sort of didn't do as well as I... They're amazing games, but they don't sell well or something. Like, I don't know what it is. Yeah, it's weird. It's yeah, weird. It's, it's like stealth, you... stealth games have always been incredibly niche. Yeah, and then you look at Splinter Cell and you're like, well, wait a minute. Splinter Cell, I, from what I understand, is still a blockbuster. Maybe it's a Tom Clancy thing. Maybe there's some IP thing that Ubisoft I mean, biggest, just doesn't want to dive into. blockbuster in that genre is still Metal Gear Solid. Um, I just oh, don't in the think military gonna... stealth? Yeah. Go ahead. Just, I think yeah, it's stealth overall. Yeah, I just don't think Ubisoft's not ever gonna not make an open world game. I just don't see it happening. 
like and 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 if you think about splinter cell open world it's just oh well we have ghost recon that's why i think prince of Persia is is done for other than that side scroller is because we have assassin's creed um ubisoft just i you know what i mean they they're just not gonna i don't i don't see them doing like a linear splinter cell or anything you don't see them so you're saying there that if it is going to be splinter cell be open world or you think that splinter cell fits better in linear so they won't make it i think they're not going to make a splinter cell because if they were going to make a splinter cell they would do it make it open world and it'd be too close to like a uh, ghost recon or something like that so um, they think with, like, there's Prince overlap in their own games in a way i think so yeah that's that's what my theory was for like prince of persia versus assassin's creed is that we have assassin's creed and that would be too similar or something and i just don't i feel like they're they like their games to be like big uh kind of platforms for like this content thing that they like pushing worlds or yeah. expansions or so i just don't see them doing like uh i would love a fucking short like just go like a linear splinter cell game like old school you have to ghost. You have to do all this stuff. Uh, yeah. But Am I, I the only I, one here who fun. liked uh, Phoenix Rising? Immortals? I enjoyed it. Because yeah, yeah. they canceled the sequel to that, too. And it, did, it, it was did. a smaller... You know, Star Wars is supposedly much smaller as an open world, which is weird. It's like, hey, here's a universe where there's galaxies and planets. Blah, blah, blah. We're going to make it smaller. And you're like, what <laughs> yeah, the right. fuck of all the games? But I, I, I actually see your point. I guess I see your point. I mean, That's I think that... But I that do see point, point. Sort of certainly become more cogent the last few years because the, it's been a long time since we've seen a title like Child of Light or uh, right. Valiant Hearts that was also Ubisoft, right? Yeah. Um, from from Ubisoft, uh, that with these, or even like For Honor. Um, I mean, the closest we have to something that isn't uh, that sort of open world is Rainbow Six mm -hmm. Siege. Um, yeah, yeah, or true. Or like the racing games, like a lot of those. Or the racing games, games but look at the crew. They well, the had, racing, you know, the they racing games the open are world open world. It. I mean, the crew oh yeah, is, true, <laughs> yeah, true, true. But like we got Anno as well, right? Eighteen hundred. Yeah, so true. Same thing with um, same thing with the uh, steep and the other one, uh, Riders the, Republic, yeah. which I can Riders never. Republic also <laughs> open. World. There's yeah. such an overlap in those two, right. dude. Um, Riders Republic sounds like a fucking like a clothing brand. It does. No, that's exactly what it sounds like. It sounds like the hip clothing brand still sold at the mall where nobody goes yeah, in yeah. and they're like dude yeah, you can yeah. buy some riders republic and some I tough got it from enough i got a riders republic t-shirt yeah, you know I mean? yeah 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 my beanie um i just want to shout out to the people who say they loved phoenix yeah phoenix is nice beyond phenomenal but they're not yeah it's true i didn't even think about that but yeah you know how some companies will do well and then they'll feed a developer with that money? You can almost tell they are. And that money, that developer yeah. then goes, it feels like Ubisoft feeds the other open worlds with their open worlds. So yeah. they're like, okay. Yes, they do. Yeah, AC did well. Far Cry is never going toward, maybe they'll do a Blood Dragon. Uh, Ubisoft has taken some choice, uh, you know, Primal, they they took a chance there. And they are, they are also still running For Honor. But again, both For they Honor are still and running. Rainbow Six Siege are quite old now. Like Dude, ancient. Five, yeah. <laughs> five no, no, or six no. years well, old now, right? No, 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 I think they're 10. A... <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure Rainbow Six Siege is like nine years old now. I, uh, somebody no, can no. correct me. It's not? I thought Rainbow no. Six Siege no, is a... Okay, okay. Nine okay. years? Yeah, 2014. Not that old. I thought it was 2014 to 2016, is it? yeah. Is it? No, 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 no. It's not that old. Wait, no. is it? No, no. I'm pretty sure it came out after we started the podcast, uh, Siege. Mm. Uh, it came out 2015. December, 2015, so like close to 2016. Yeah. Okay, so I was so eight years, eight years, but that's longer than you thought, shorter than I thought. We'll we'll agree to disagree, on it. but that's still a long time, right? <laughs> you were eight closer. Years. You were closer than me. And, and you said it's ancient. They are eight, that's eight well, years. It, did, it, it took eight. like I think they just the, the ranked just came out of beta. Like, did it even come out of beta? I don't know. I think it just came out of beta like a year ago. Or did the so. eight year old game come out of beta? That's zom Project Zombioid for you. You know, where Reg <laughs> yeah, and I yeah. didn't even know each other. We didn't even know what a podcast was when I first kickstarted. Or what was it? It wasn't even kickstarted. It was like itch.io or something for Zombioid. It was ancient. I think they Zomboid, might even have zom Zomboid. Zomboid. Sorry, Star Project Star Zomboid. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I They've think. There more. Yeah, I think yeah, yeah. it is more than than Star Citizen. Kitch. Yeah, yeah, that thing yeah. is ancient. Remember when Daisy was like the biggest, like longest? A absolutely. Access? And then now it's like it's nothing compared it's to nothing. all the others, dude. It's like <laughs> it's not early access. Just yeah, yeah. it just means may not come out. We can talk about the other one. Yeah, you right. and I played it. I sort of liked mm -hmm. it, and that was Second Extinction. 
There were some yeah, stuff in Second like Extinction that. I liked, and they're like, we're done. Yeah. It's it's gone. Remember we're when I think we were doing like a quest or something, and then like an event happened while yes. we were doing something and the else, tyrannosaur and like, this is cool. There was like a tyrannosaurus yeah. in a lake or somewhere. Like, whoa, that's like ambient. Yeah. Like there was a lot of what it's, I thought it was, was like fun. a non-linear take on like the Left 4 Dead formula, which was yep. really cool. Yeah, yeah, that is true. I guess you're right that Ubisoft's um, man. Can somebody in mm. chat remind, is there, uh, are there any smaller, not small because there not might be, smaller, any, but, but I mean like, like medium like open world right. formula. Yeah. 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 I, I don't know if there is, maybe there isn't like any. Beyond Good and Evil 2, what, what, what will that be? You know, or the ship game, we got the Skull and Bone. I mean, they, they do also still have the, the Sands of Time remake coming, supposedly. Well, that's what Abzi oh, was yeah. saying is he feels it's, yeah. it's just going to. Yeah. Forever becoming. But, but, it sounds but like. they are still <laughs> making it, supposedly. They're going to have yeah. a billion dollars from jacking off. It's There's forever the 2D coming. one as well, right? Which I'm I'm kind of kind of looking Yeah, there forward. are the two D Assassin's Creed games, I guess, uh, that are the side-scrolling <laughs> ones that were from <laughs> look what, on 2017 or something. But, dude, those were. <laughs> but they're also quite old, man. <laughs> those, were a fu those were an assault on <laughs> senses, man. One of them was. There was one that was okay, and then it's a, like, the the Far Cry DLC. I think it was the Russian that might have been okay, and then there was India, I believe, or something. But I remember playing one, one of them. There was one with, like, China. Like, like a side-scroller with, like, China. spikes. It was basically Mario or whatever. Dude, they they're... just jumped and... Yeah, wow. Oh, Skate? Where are all my skate bands? Oh, oh is skate. skate Ubisoft? There's a new skate, right? They confirmed it. There's skate they did. four is coming. Is, is Ubisoft, yeah. or is or that, that's five. EA though. That's EA, right? Skate's EA, isn't it? Or is it not? I don't I thought remember. Skate's EA. Can somebody remember. point that out? Because I don't want to open my browser or, or, yeah, or yeah, stream yeah. a fuck up. Um, so, nah, Skate is EA, is what uh, okay. Lombardo says. So, yeah, that's true, man. We haven't seen, I, I would, hmm. Splinter Cell, if it does come out, how if you did yeah. that open world, it would have to be like Cuba for Far Cry, where they put Sam Fisher yeah. in some uh, dangerous location. I wouldn't want it. I wouldn't yeah. either. The open world, man. I wouldn't either. Oh. I wouldn't either because it's too much. Yeah. You hit it. Uh, you hit it on the head. I didn't even think about it, but there's way too much of an overlap. Uh, even though yeah, Wildlands just, and uh, it needs fo it needs focus uh, for the for the stealth experience. Yeah, Board, I want borderline? focus. Borderline? I, I like listen. I love immersive Sims a What's lot, but one? when you're making game like a stealth game like Splinter Cell, I don't want the option. I don't want to go in guns blazing if I wanted. Yeah, I don't, right. I don't you want to be forced to be. If I, if I'm seen, I want to be killed or game over. You know. Try again. Hey, yeah, what's with the that, with Splinter Cell? What's the sequel to Wildlands? Board, Boardlands? But what the fuck? What's the uh, no, uh, break breakpoint? Point. Great Thank point. you, Jesus, man. Uh, yeah. yeah but, oh, yeah. X Defiant was canceled by them. Too. Oh, well, indefinitely right. delayed. I saw people say that indefinitely delayed they thought meant coming out still. And to me, indefinitely means. Uh, oh, yeah, I don't know why. Until further notice. Limbo. Yeah, yeah, it just, <laughs> yeah when, whenever, Limbo. if yeah. you guys were to say I'm indefinitely off the podcast, to me, that would mean bye. Like, that's, yeah, 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 you yeah. know, it, 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 yeah, I don't know why. That's just the way I would feel about it. Um, com compliments on your backgrounds, dudes. Joni's dope computer, Silver's Star Wars figures, Carrick's green screen, and Abzi's vitamins. You bet. This is not Abzi's green screen. Villains. I live. I live in this amazing place. I don't know what those things are <laughs> on the wall, though. They look like. Imagine yeah. if those were all twelve-inch speakers. Let's put some disturb. <laughs> um. So. Hmm. I can't think of any. I'm still sort of stuck on the Ubisoft thing, but I, I guess yeah. there isn't any. But dude, yeah. like, too bad. Yeah, I don't know because uh, someone just reminded me. I guess uh, just I just saw the word Phantom Pain. They nailed the sandbox stealth thing. Silver, admittedly uh, I, I to his credit, seen... did mention Phantom Pain way oh, at the start. Okay. He did. He did drop so, Metal Gear. Yeah. Is the only one that has succeeded. Yes. Re Recent, uh, recent. Well, they, I well, I only said that it was like the the franchise was the biggest blockbuster. Oh, sort of oh, gotcha. Self franchise. Did oh, well, okay. yeah. Because yeah. gotcha. I don't quite agree with you there, FC. That oh, really? I think it's the best sandbox, sandbox stealth. stealth. Yeah, I think. Yeah, you're... and you're certainly not the only one. But but like for me, the sandbox um aspect of it was entirely underwhelming. Uh, like the open world well, phantom pain game. the open world the world was underwhelming did not, for did sure. not work for me at all yeah yeah i was talking in terms of like mechanics of, mechanics of, of the stealth, stealth and stuff, and stuff. i think like silver just doesn't overall the multiple times i've talked to him about it from the helmets to all this stuff he just is not yeah. a, as huge of a fan as i liked 
I did not like the le the secondary play, the jungle. I thought that looked like shit and everything. But the I, I think the overall desert location in Phantom Pain is pretty cool. I really I, I enjoyed that I mean, a lot. I still think but... it's it's an amazing stealth game. It has incredible sort of gameplay elements and an AI to to mess around with. Um, that's really fun and well, as a whole game, I I agree with you. Like as a whole game, I don't. It's not like one of my favorite games or anything. Um, you know what? If all this is said and done. Microsoft is working with Kojima on some other game. We've heard you got Death Stranding, mm -hmm. all this stuff. Then you got Konami, who owns everything. Microsoft has held off for a while, obviously, because of the Activision thing. And the original rumor, especially when Kojima first showed up, that was the rumor that I was told, was that there was an idea of like trying to figure out to get Konami to sell the IP. And mm -hmm. I still believe that it wouldn't surprise me if Microsoft tries to figure out a way to get like that IP. Like it would Buy be it imagine, Im yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, somebody I, I, they've got that, their own IP. That IPs would happen too, after but. the the remake, right? The third. Well, this remake thing is weird because like I, I, it's yeah. got a lot of tech. I just I don't know if you guys have seen, but some people got their hands on the leaked version, and there's all kinds of issues. No, not the remaster. The oh, um, oh right, the, the right. No, remake. you're right. Yeah, you're right. The yeah, remake, yeah, that's the true. third one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Let's see. I hated Sneaky. Metal Gear. I this is uh, Flex and Mecha. I hated Metal Gear Solid V open world, but the idea of it was great and the mechanics were great. But it was a dead game. Yeah, yeah. It didn't have. It, it felt like a like some it, something wasn't there. Like you know, you know when a when a new sequel comes out and you feel like you're just playing, but you're you're feeling more nostalgic than you are playing the game, and you're yeah. like, oh, stuff is missing. That's that's. For sure, I agree with that. It's like how like the newer Prince of Persia felt, for example, to me, where I was like, this isn't quite... I mean, know? for me, one of the main issues with the open world was particularly the Afghanistan map, mm -hmm. where you had... It was really just sort of segmented levels, like two traditional video game levels that were then sort of connected to each other by these narrow corridors, like the ravines or whatever that you had to travel through. In right, order to yeah. reach each sort of separate level, like yeah, the prison they have choke section, points, right? or yeah. the um, yeah, like choke the bombed out hotel, bit. or yeah. or the military base, that you then move from these place to place through these narrow ravine corridors. It did. It never felt like an open, connected world in that way. It, yeah, yeah, it felt really closed off and really sort of uh, isolated. I guess. Um, we're losing really Johnny in our Phantom Pain discussion. Johnny, do you have anything yeah, to add before sorry. we move on? No, that's all right. No, Johnny's interested in everything anyone has to say, dude. Yeah, come on, Johnny. No, uh, I'm just joking. not but, uh, anyone. It, not it's, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. it's not you. something I extend to only people that I care that, about. That you respect and wow, love. You don't and care, care about us? He does. I do. You don't A little care bit. About us. It goes up and down. <laughs> I mean, sometimes he's like, eh, sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. Sometimes I care. Um, uh, Costco Freak asked a question. So it seems since early this month, it's official now that Henry Cavill will produce and act in a Warhammer 40k show on Amazon. Is there right. anything you would like to see? Oh, particular lore events and timeline for Warhammer 40,000. Um, dude, I want Cavill to get... Have you guys ever... You know how some people, when they get their first directing job after being an actor, and you're just like... You can tell they're sort of good at it. You're like, dude, this guy's a really good producer, a really good director. I just sort of want Cavill to get some money. And do he's a fan of Warhammer, and I love that. Instead of Halo, where the guy's like, I didn't even watch Halo. I didn't even play Halo, and I'm making a Halo <laughs> show. And you're like, yeah, fuck you. Yeah. Cavill is a fan. I say give Cavill $100 million and just be like, dude, see ya in like six months. Make something. Yeah. I don't have any real... Is there any world? Is there? Do you guys like? Would you want them to explore Dark Tide's time frame, Rogue Trader's time frame, um, which I believe is what it is? Is Rogue Rogue Trader? I think it's something along those lines. Um, Space Marine Two. Imagine. I, I don't know uh, <laughs> much about any Warcraft. Uh, what was Warhammer. it called? Warhammer. Lore, Warhammer. But I like I like the different aesthetics, and I can I I'm I'm down for any. Like I like the Dark Tide aesthetics. I like the 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 big the battle. What's the big guys that just like go in and Space like, Marines. Space Marine aesthetic, yeah. like I like a lot of their aesthetics, both the downtrodden and the more highfalutin kind of yeah. paladin ish vibes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, so there's, is there? I mean, yeah. Or Necromunda, you know, I'd be down yeah. for like a, you know what I mean, like a hive type of. 
That Do we know anything about what Cavill's even doing? We haven't even... I, I've just heard it's Warhammer 40. I did I think... I haven't followed it that closely. You, you haven't followed it. Are you going to watch it, though? You'll watch it, right? I mean, you're yeah, a fan follow, of Warhammer. I'll watch it, yeah. when it when it's out, yeah. I love it when a fan of something gets like I'm, that. I just think that's I'm awesome. not huge into the 40K. I'm more into Warhammer Fantasy. Um, I would say I am the, as well. And the lore yeah. there. True. Um, 40K never sort of hit that giant. It always felt like kind of too edgy for the sake of being edgy i guess <laughs> for me it's very um, edgy. it is very edgy yeah to, to really sort of maintain my interest for for very long but i do enjoy sort of going into the universe in the occasional video game but it's not something i follow closely in terms of lore what i like about warhammer is even their space marines get chewed up and so it's like there's a sense of fatality in all of the war even in the books i've because yes, i think i've read every war sure. yeah and you'll get a Warhammer 40,000. Eisenhorn is a good example where you're like, dude, this guy's badass. And you're like, yeah, just wait. It's Warhammer. Like, it's <laughs> okay, Warhammer. Um, you know, you just, whenever you like a character in Warhammer, you almost have to just put the, like, gravestone over the top of them because you that's know. That's like a Game of Thrones thing. Yeah. It okay. is a Game of Yeah. So has that perfect. Thing. Yeah. And, yeah. dude, every Warhammer I've ever read, every novel, every series, it's like, these guys are badass. Well, but they met a badassness, and that guy's going to roll them. And then they roll. You look at a, a character, a, and you're like, "This guy is too good of a character." Yeah, right. He's gonna he's, die that somewhere. guy is dead. It's not like James Bond, <laughs> yeah. where he shows up and is like, "I'm James Bond." You're like, "You're the worst spy ever." You're it's not telling like everybody, Seagal, right? Yeah, it's not like Steven Seagal. It's it's just that you 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 hit it right where it's Game of Thrones, where it surprised people when Game of Thrones came. I mean, I don't know anybody who should have been surprised Sean Bean dies, but or whatever his name is, <laughs> yeah, Sean. Sean, Sean, yeah, Sean dude. Uh, what's uh, his name? Poor guy. What yeah. is his name? Is it Sean Bean? Yeah, it's Sean, Sean Bean. Bean. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That dude 006. dies in everything. Yeah, 006. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, you're just like, yeah, that dude's going to die. The terrorist but killed by it, Harrison Ford in Patriot yeah, Games. The, the terrorist killed in Walter. any movie where he's a terrorist. Yeah, he's yeah. Killed, the good guy in any movie is a good guy. Didn't he die in Silent Hill, too? Because he did Silent Hill number one. I can't remember if he died. He's the dad. Do you guys remember in the original Silent Hill movie? I don't remember him in yeah. Silent Hill at all. Yeah, he no. was inside. He was, yeah, he was the, uh, he was, I believe, the father. I never saw the Silent Hill movie. So oh, gotcha. Um... Next up, Cheese's Crust. As always, good questions. You get the chance to convince Microsoft to reboot or reimagine a game series similar in scope and budget to God of War. With their now admittedly large IP, what series would you choose? Don't say prototype. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what is with that shit, man? Keep prototype know, man. out of my chat. <laughs> um, uh, it's just a Microsoft IP, like a, like a, or or can it be any IP from any of the companies they purchased? I think the way you framed it, uh, I took it as any IP, any, any IP. IP. Mm -hmm. I would love to see, um, uh, the, the I've been saying this, I keep saying, uh, I, I'd love to see like a like a Fallout made by Bethesda in Exile plus Obsidian. <laughs> All oh three man. Of them. For a Fallout game, <laughs> somehow I don't know how they would work together, but I'd like yeah. to see that. It would be the most killer announcement to ever be announced. It would be an yeah. announcement that would just announce it. Imagine if they were like Obsidian, Bethesda. They all had and a then hand what's in the other one? Fallouts, right? Um, the uh, the main one in Exile, and they're like yeah, yeah. Fallout Five, and you're like what the Godfathers. The <laughs> yeah, they all three come out on stage like the old uh, Co Knights of the Old Republic online, where all the Jedi yeah. came out and the two Doctors were like. Dur -dur -dur. Instead, it would be those like the three leads coming out and being like, "Dude, we're making we're making it." Oh, yeah, man. And then we, you know, hopefully all of us were on longevity experiments because it would take twenty years for that game to come out. Oh yeah, that's one absolutely. of the problems, right? Like Absolutely. that would take forever yeah. for a Hope three. Hope you guys though. are eating your veggies and no doubt. No doubt no Absy doubt. does. We talked about that. He, that dude's a veggie eater. <laughs> Not He's me. eating I'm that gonna fish die. I'm gonna stroke out. So, that dude's yeah. gonna be all right. I literally made. I pre-made a, a veggie plate for after the podcast. Like I have broccoli in there. And How do you pre-make a veggie plate? Aren't vegetables pre-made? I just cut them up and put oh, them on gotcha. a plate. Oh, gotcha. Okay, gotcha. Um, so so that's a good IP. Here's mine: Crimson Skies. Crimson Skies is one of the best games yeah, I've ever played. Fun. And I think now it would work in any kind of single player slash multiplayer slash I would don't want to say games as a service, but I'm gonna. But I dude, Crimson and we Skies. We don't get many of those type of games these days, unfortunately. Games as a service? No, like games oh. like Crimson Skies. Oh yeah, okay. Woo! 
I was like, we're gonna have to talk. What's his name? <laughs> <laughs> we, you know, we don't get, we don't see we're a lot of games of service. Like, we, <laughs> we need more games of service. Yeah, dude, wouldn't that be great? Uh, Crimson, I, yeah. I can see Abzi and Johnny are like, what the fuck's he talking about? That was the. Uh, <laughs> Google this. So it was a. It was this. a. I, I don't know it. <laughs> what what yeah, would we call that? A, a biplane steampunk. Yeah. Uh, uh, shooter sort of action sh oh, action shooter. I remember this uh, this uh, cover. Or I swear to God, it's etched into my memory. Yeah, in some way. so good. Crimson Skies was the just the jam. And Microsoft's sitting on a lot of IPs, right? They're sitting on FASA too, BattleTech. They're sitting on. They own all of FASA's rights. So, dude, why did a lot of games in the early two thousands have blimps? Have a lot of blimps. Well, steampunk was relatively like pop maybe it was steampunk really quite yeah. popular there in the early to late nineties, early two. Was it also like hot off like the Russia versus America type stuff, and Russia always used blimps? I can or, tell you, I bet you a million dollars. Blimps are the big Zeppelin style, yeah. Zepp yeah. Things, yeah. I, I bet you, Abzi. I bet you, some people put blimps in because it allowed them to stream their game engine slower. <laughs> I'm just because the thing is glacial. Yep. It's like it's glacial. <laughs> it sounds really bad, but it's like there were so many cheats back in the day. I remember yeah. reading devs talking about a cheat that they like they do this, and you'd be like, "Why would you know? Why are they doing this?" And then be like, "Well, we couldn't load in, blah blah blah." So we cheated. I mean, I don't know if you guys saw the Spider. A great thing on GDC, Spider Man One for Insomniac. The developer came on and was talking about the cheats. So when there's a camera cut. He showed back, he zoomed back, and he was like, here's what's happening behind the scenes when, like, you're circling Fisk or whatever, and it was showing shit just disappearing and being unloaded as quick as possible, and they were using all these, yeah. not cheats, but smart programming. And we've talked about this, doors opening are usually loading. By, by the way, yeah. can I tell you guys, I don't want them to remove all that, because to me, that big hero moment many times is after going that through that vagina crevice, right? You go through that <laughs> rock crevice yeah. and you're, you're yeah, Nathan yeah. Drake and you come out to this massive, <laughs> it's shimmy, shimmy. Uh, yeah, shimmy, 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 yeah. Dang, dang. I don't want him to remove that. Yeah. Cause to me, that's one of the right. like tomb Raider. She slips and slides, you know, it's loading in the background. She's sliding death porn. You can hear all these sounds. She lands, she gets up and there's this massive Vista and you're like, Oh my yeah. God, that's, I don't want him to remove that man. Just because you can, doesn't mean that doesn't hit on a, yeah, it doesn't serve, that it doesn't serve a purpose or yeah. whatever. Yeah. yeah. Um, good question, Cheese's Crust. Uh, any other IPs? I mean, my, you guys don't know them as much, but like Microsoft is sitting on, I think, over a thousand. It's the amount of IPs they have. It's not Embracer level. Revive, revive uh, Alpha Protocol somehow. God damn. Dude, yeah, that that was, wouldn't that be? I don't know where the license would be, right? I think do the we, license do you know, is just so lost. The license is lost. No, the license yeah. is... Um, lost they could is probably... In, Release oh, like an uh not a sequel. Uh, I mean, the is, the game is sadly not even sold anymore on the. Oh, yeah. gotcha. Yeah. So they, they call it like Beta Protocol a... instead of Alpha Protocol, you know, and just <laughs> fake right, it. Yeah. Is that what gamma you mean, Abzi? Gamma, gamma, <laughs> no, yeah, Gamma what do, Protocol. What, what, well, I mean, you, yeah, yeah, because the IP is like, missing. What do, you, just, what do they call that? Like, a pseudo sequel. What, a pseudo sequel no, 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 or a prequel. Um, Fuck, what was it called? Like, for example, what was Path of Exile to Diablo 2? It was like, it's... Uh, oh, oh. Like, it's, you mean just um, in the same... That's g genre, is all that is. What do you mean? No, no, it's what? it's 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 uh, something sequel. It's like a word. It's like an adjective. It's like... A, it's a, I'm, My brain is blanking right now. So it's not pseudo-sequel. It's... Pseudo it's uh, no. It's like it's like when 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 another company spirit makes a game spiritual sequel they love spiritual, spiritual sequel spiritual I knew exactly sequel. yeah okay sorry yes. I didn't know exactly because it took yes. me a while but I get what you're saying but spiritual sequel generally isn't another company doing something that's generally the same company it is yeah. it is but here if thing. if the IP is missing but no it's like different company like uh, well yeah it's different companies in Path of Exile sequel. and Diablo it's it, it's different it's just that the devs are like a fan of a game so they make their own game that a spiritual successor. Sorry. Yeah. Is the word oh, I was gotcha. Looking. Gotcha. Yes. Thank you, chat. Yeah. Yeah. That's. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Josh L. Uh, Ten dollars or two dollars ship chat. You guys seen the Astrati's vids on YouTube? I think everybody has. Yeah. I mean, that's the Warhammer. The guy, the fan made the Warhammer. Yeah, yeah. Like, did incredible work. Matt Clark, five dollars ship chat. And you guys stoked for the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles last Ronin game? I uh, what not, does that look like? I, yeah. There is a I, last Ronin game. Yeah, there is. For there TMNT? is. Uh, yeah, for TMNT. Oh, somebody uh, said Arcanum of uh, uh, what is that? Steamworks of Steam Arcanum and Obscura, Obscura and Thingy Thingy. That game is awesome, by the way. That would be cool. Yeah, to see that was it. a nice Wait, uh, CRPG back in the day. 
the last Ronin. and do we know what it looks like gameplay wise or is i don't it just... so i don't i just there was a revealed trailer two months ago that you yeah, can find that. on youtube i'm just looking it up now teenage mutant yeah. ninja turtles i have a hard time man i just i'm not i don't know what but it didn't grab me like i don't know about you guys Who's but i know so it? many of my friends are big uh you know teenage mutant ninja turtles fan it just didn't Wait, this this looks like it could be like a like a thing, like a. Like but is a, it platinum like cool style, thing. like the platinum failed one, or is it? Does it look know. more like THQ God? Nordic? And uh, pretty what, good. The developer is Black Forest Games, who did. Uh, I'm looking Wait. up. Uh, Black the Forest has done um, destroy all humans. Destroy all humans. Yeah, I was gonna say I reviewed a game from them. Mm. Sorry, uh, but destroy okay. all humans. They that's not a good lineage. I I wanted know. like a more. Not a mature, but like a more well, weighty. Oh, wait, like in my head, it's like a weighty TMNT game, like a you know, good well, graphics. The trailer like sadly shows nothing yeah, whatsoever. It shows nothing. Oh, does so, it? Yeah, yeah. Okay, Dude, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, you guys, I, I, I never asked, I just said my part. Uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, are you guys huge fans? So, Johnny's shaking his head or nodding his head. So, you uh, were a huge fan. Okay, I, I liked I, again. I grew up watching the animated stuff. Keep talking, so I'm, I let my dogs out. Okay, I'm nostalgic towards it, but I found that a lot of the games that come out, I play for like an hour and then I'm good. You know, with the MNT. Yeah. Do, do you remember the recent one that came out that was the Size Scroller? The Size Scroller 2D. Uh, I played countless hours of the Super Nintendo one back in the day, but too. now Me I find too. myself right. Yeah. The, yeah. The I just honestly, I'm at the point. I'm at a point where it's it's very very difficult for like a 2D game to really. I agree. In. Like I have to do something very unique and interesting. Yeah. So like yeah, I would, I, love I, to I would see, agree with that. Yeah, like I would love to see like a uh, like a triple A TMNT type thing. You know what I mean? That'd be that'd be cool. Um. Yeah. Johnny, you were talking about as a kid, you know, blah, blah, blah. And then you played these new ones. Do they kill your nostalgia or do they just not meet it? Honestly, I don't know. I think the gameplay itself is not that fun for me. You know, that style, the the 2D yeah. brawler. Right. And some can be fun. Like, you know, Castle Crashers was super with fun. So. Sitting yeah, Streets of Rage 4 Alien was Hominid. pretty good. Alien yeah. Hominid. Like we always say with friends, right? It can yeah. be like if you told me, dude, <laughs> let's jump into the turtle. Uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you'd probably game. do it. Uh, I'll, yeah, I'd yeah, do yeah. it and it would be a great time. But mm. for me, like if I'm going to play a game, that's not really something that speaks to me. Now, if yeah, you're yeah. telling me, dude, it's a third person action, like Abzi is saying, you know, it's like girthy and yeah, heavy yeah, yeah. dude yeah. like uh sign me up right yeah yeah same yeah Got a little and it's just cool it. like like we don't really play turtles much you know like we don't, there's no turtle yeah. game <laughs> well so platinum cool, failed yeah. so poorly or failed so well sorry they did a great job at failing <laughs> with the with the yeah. teenage mutant ninja turtle game that i think for a lot of that's why i was asking about can something destroy your nostalgia and mm -hmm. i mm. i certainly find myself playing those games and realizing that 2D is also not for... I loved... Uh, there was another game. It wasn't... Teen, there was another 2D that I reviewed maybe two years ago. And I was like, man, it was a fighter. And I was like, this is great. But it doesn't hold my interest like a Horizon. Yeah. Oh, something. yeah, I it's, remember it's, the it's, frog one, right? Yeah, but oh, Battletoads. 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 Battle yeah, so it's yeah, like... Yeah. It can definitely do it. But I agree with Johnny that it's like... They hold my interest for a bit, but they don't hold it. You know, they they don't yeah. sit in, they don't take up space in my brain for very long. So mm. did you, did you guys do Streets of Rage when you were, probably not, that was too young yeah. for you. Yeah, I, I, I did. did. Oh, Silver yeah. would have, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so Streets of Rage was, man. Yeah, I played that too. Yeah, I, four, I loved four the was an amazing. Uh, four was an amazing revival. homage to, yeah, that was, they did a yeah. really good job. I mean, hats off to them. They the did an awesome Beat-em-ups were my jam. Like, I loved beat-em-ups. Even in the, they, they have the fighting games, like Tekken and Street Fighter have like the beat-em-up versions. I'd, I'd always love to play those at the arcade and oh yeah, true yeah jam. yeah though, but do you think that we've just seen I'm, that I'm, there's just more to be offered in the third person ones and so they just don't hold your interest now yeah and now like i have a uh, limited time and uh, there's so many great games where where it's just not on my priority like for a 2d game like that to capture me as i said before like i need a really really strong hook or strong unique factor to it you know what grabbed me, man? And it's not this yeah. guy. I'm going to jump a little bit. It's still too deep, but Ori, man.
So I was just talking Ori, to somebody yeah. about Ori, and I was like, if we, if I had, if if people reminded me of every game I've ever reviewed and played in the last couple of years, Ori would be in the top. It would probably, it would probably push out some games I've loved into like top five. Yeah. Ori was, and it was like a cute, like pixel <sighs> level cuteness. But it was it. also really sad. You know, it and had sad. a good story yeah, for a two D game. You were just like, yeah, holy yeah, yeah. shit, they nailed this shit. So yeah. it, it's possible, but it's also not the same. Not what we're talking about. So it's it's sort of a dumb right. example, but that one would yeah. It's it, like it's not good. even like fully. It's like three D two D though. Yeah, I mean something. it is. Yeah, and it's like but, yeah. The yeah. the effect there's got all kinds of special effects. It's just, it I just beautiful. loved it. it yeah. It's un yeah. dude. I grew up with uh, oh, like I think like you, Eric. Maybe uh, the toys, the the show, the live action movies. Um, for so teenage I, mutant I ninja turtles. Somewhat, yeah, yeah, for for turtles. Um, so I was a bit of a fan, not not like heavily dedicated or anything, but but I enjoyed it too. I yeah. enjoyed all those franchises. I even I remember at the time as a kid, I even enjoyed Turtles Three, the samurai one. Um, oh sure, yeah. No, I mean as a kid, right? Like <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. It's people slap. You don't just pick like up on guilty that shit. Button. Um, yeah. Did you yeah. guys like Bikers from Mars? No, Biker Bikes from Mars, right? Uh, yeah, mm. yeah. Biker, yeah, What's mice. Up? Biker the, the mice from where Mars. It, it was my dudes with mice heads yeah. riding motorcycles. What the fuck? And I mean, it's already yeah. this was an, ticking off some cool yeah. checkboxes. It's, it's great. It was an animated show <laughs> that I grew oh. up with as well. And I saw someone mention it in chat there. There, were, there, oh, was was also show, there was also another show called Cadillacs and Dinosaurs. Cadillacs and Dinosaurs uh, is the the <laughs> beyond belief good. I own the Sega CD. Uh, it still works. <laughs> Cadillacs and dinosaurs. People do not realize how amazing that game was, and also the universe is such out a of goofy control. Name, dude. Yeah, but it's basically it's just a, Mad Max and dinosaurs. Oh, yeah, sick. yeah. Mad but Mad the Mad Cadillacs Mad. thing is, I think, just because they drove a Cadillac. But there's cars and yeah, dinosaurs exactly. and shotguns. Yeah. You know, and... go ahead. You know what was so good, dude? Fucking gargoyles, dude. Yeah, gargoyles was really that. good. Yeah. Oh, so yeah, that's what I was going to ask you guys. Do you guys think it's possible that main character syndrome is a problem with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle? Because there's only f it's like once you step away from the turtles, you're like, this is Joe Bob, their cousin. And you're like, who gives a shit about that? So I think you, you can't up or customize as much because, you know, the four mains are these weapons. And so maybe there's something there where there's I, not as much mystery. I think that's I actually something uh, someone in chat mentioned that this uh turtles game they're referring to is based on like the last ronin um sort of yeah. arc for for the comic book which if i remember right is very similar to like frank miller's um batman where it takes place out in the future with mm -hmm. a very sort of dystopian sort of take on on the franchise and i think the main character in that is actually one of i think it's Raphael. Mm -hmm. um but maybe i might i might be mistaken there but i think it's Raphael who's actually I think like it's the central it, main character of that arc he's yeah i think that's who it is in the cover or trailer or whatever the and fuck, what you know, weapon the is daggers, Raphael known right? for daggers the right? psi or whatever yeah. it's the tridents yeah or the yeah that thing yeah yeah like he would be he would be the the, the ronin right the ninja though yeah um yeah. i i just I, I i sometimes wonder when you get these games or sorry these cartoons that are like three of these or four of these Sometimes it's hard to grow that because you have that main character syndrome where it's like, these are the four ones. Oh, you can be Shredder. And you're like, yeah, but Shredder was really the one who didn't fight. Like he taught, he taught them. So it's like, why would I want to be him? And I think some of these games, when they try adding stuff, you just, it's not as interesting as the original four. They sort of understood what to do. They gave them four distinct weapons and four distinct personalities four distinct personalities. And they all like pizza. And that it's like, how do you break from right. that? Oh, this guy likes enchiladas. It's like, it's sometimes you know how B movie that can feel, or not yeah. B movie, but budget yeah, yeah, that yeah. can feel, where like Joe Bob the cousin comes in, and you're like, dude, what? Like, why does like this Miles Morales or? Oh, wow, shit! A lot of people in chat that a just on felt Miles their. Right there? Wow. A lot of people in chat were like, "What <laughs> just happened?" <laughs> yeah, that's that's something I would say. Jay Reaper, ten dollars super chat, great podcast. Gunter, oh, then thank you very much, Jay. Uh, and thanks for the chat yesterday, by the way. Gunter, $5 super chat. What do you guys think has a bigger dev and or IP graveyard? Microsoft or EA? Microsoft, for sure. Right? Dead, meaning think, uh, just a list of IPs? I think with actual, actually oh, killing 
shit. I think it's CA. Oh, you honestly. mean killing off like the uh, like the IP and put him in the graveyard? Like yeah, like then that's it's space EA. Three, that's space three. Yeah, then it's like, EA. With that space three. Yeah. Mass Effect just, three. They... But, I mean, wet Westwood. Thanks, Splinter. <laughs> Splinter, Pretty you're right, not Shredder. Shredder. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Westwood alone, and uh, they also did Magic Carpet. They bought Magic Carpet and destroyed that. The uh, uh, not platypus games. The, I can't uh, remember the like they 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 bought Origin. Uh, yeah, completely gutted them. Um, yeah, that would be EA. EA. Yeah, that would be EA. In my opinion. Yeah, EA's got it. EA's got it the highest for sure. Dragon Age, Rip, Bioware, all of it. Beast. I <laughs> think. I think um, Microsoft rarely like outright kills IPs. I think that's absolutely true. Three four three did kill Halo though, but other than that, God damn, Jesus Christ, that's harsh. They did. Beastie, yeah, I'm seeing like Beastie by nature says. Been seeing a lot of people. (laughs) Been talking. Been seeing a lot of people talking about the first couple minutes of Spider Man Two being Chef's Kiss. Uh, what's one game or games that you'd like to experience for the first time to feel the sense of shock and awe? Oh, man. I'd say that about a lot of games. Signalis, Nier, uh, 13 Sentinels, Disco Elysium. Mm. I want to forget because a lot of their stories hinged on the mystery. Like 13 yeah. Sentinels mm. worked so well because you don't know what the fuck is going on. Um, so replaying those. But like, for example, like replaying Red Dead 2, it's fine that I still remember it because it didn't hinge on the mystery to me yeah, as right. much. It's right. more like seeing the character development and second time playing it, I noticed things, foreshadowing and all that stuff. But those games or like near, like without knowing yeah, the near twist, is, just was incredible. The first playthrough yeah. of that. God yeah, damn. exactly. Yeah. Any for you, Silver? Like just like a title that you just sort of, I guess he's saying sort of a race. I don't. Yeah, I don't. I don't really think so because I have, I guess it would take away the, the growing appreciation I have on, on the, 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 the reflection afterwards and stuff um, that I, that I appreciate and enjoy as much as like the first going through it the first time. Um, and I think maybe, maybe that perspective is also called just colored by the fact that I, I, when I consume art, I consume a lot of art that's already, known so there rarely is that sense of like yeah right mystery. yeah you're sort of already aware of whatever because I, I read a lot of like literary classics and stuff where the ending is already a foregone conclusion so i know i know what happens at the end of hamlet and whatnot right? yeah yeah so going into it so i think it probably comes from there as well so i don't have a game that comes immediately to mind where i would go oh i want to forget about it and just experience it for the first time because yeah, I have increased. I have increased perspective from from playing through it, and when I then return to it and stuff, um, fucking that I enjoy. I I would I would agree with that, but my answer just got stolen, and this is a true what answer. It? It's wow. Oh, World of Warcraft, okay. and uh, yeah, in, yeah, Indio yeah, says the same. That. He says yeah. my yeah. first moments yeah. of World of Warcraft are amazing. Seeing that world yeah. that I'd only viewed from above, and then being in the 3D, and I absolutely was yeah. going to choose that. And the reason why oh, is. Yeah. I remember going into WoW well after everybody else. I was sort of late, but I remember yeah. I always talk about this place. I think it's called the Barrens or something, but there was like Stalactite, the Turin, yeah. where they're the bull guys or whatever. And yeah, I remember yeah, Thousand Needles. Thousand Needles, thank you. And I yeah, yeah. I don't know why, but back then they didn't do a great job with, you know, they didn't have the best graphics, but it looked cartoony and it sort of aged well. Yeah. And right. I remember playing yeah. with uh, Cadiz and I was like, oh, I get it. Yeah. Like I had all never got it. Were so memorable. Yeah, exactly. Like and that's location. all we did yeah. was explore. And the sense yeah. of exploration has probably never been even close in any game. And I remember we would get online and go, okay, we're level two. It doesn't fucking matter. Let's go to this level 20 yeah. place. We'd be sneaking and dodging and like trying to get to these. <laughs> and you go to the bad guys yeah. area where you could die, but you'd go and you'd yeah. see like where the bad guys would start or the other yeah, yeah. races. Or yeah. Horde or life. Wow. So was cool, just, yeah. it was my, and I'm not even a big yeah. wow fan, but I remember just the sense of exploration. And wow was beyond yeah. anything. And it was also so big because all these mm-hmm. games, how many games have we played where you're like, this looks awesome, but you know, the location's not huge, but wow yeah, was yeah. like, 
Azeroth, it's right? yeah, beyond like belief Jesus. huge. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah. It, it didn't even it dwarfed yeah. or like we would explore for days, and you would be like, "This yeah. is a brand." And there were no flying mounts, so like you go. There were on none. Full, so much better. Yeah, dude. and yeah. dude, exact yeah. flying wingsuit in Spider Man Two. The travel yeah. in WoW was hoof beats. You know, you were like, you were just and, hoofing and it now somewhere. Now the quality of life, the fuck out of it. I know. <laughs> There's no yeah. more. <laughs> yeah, they yeah. ruined it. But no, I would that, agree that with that, uh, or with uh, I would agree with Indio that I uh, WoW is mine. Yeah. It is just it. It'll never. Yeah. I don't yeah, think. I don't think any game. Will, I, I will say that uh, the the, the uh, uh, Elder Scrolls MMO. Um, is that what it's called? Elder Scrolls MMO? Yeah, ESO. ESO was pretty high uh, in exploration. When uh, Cadiz and I first got into that, there was a lot of running around we did. And oh, that was yeah. very cool, too. They did well, Also, really Elden Ring, dude. Like, nothing's going to be like my first playthrough of Elden Ring. Yeah, Just right. Not yeah, knowing Elden... the map, not it... knowing where anything is or the bosses. Oh, And finally doing a good job with... Um, I, I don't know, just doing a good job with a Dark Souls this open world, which I think a lot of people expected mm. more jank. I mean, there were some, but there was nowhere near as much as I think I expected. Mm. I still remember coming out of that, whatever, the first tunnel you come out of into the open world, and you've got like three yeah. discrete lanes. And I was like, I've never had three discrete choices before. <laughs> like, it's, yeah. it's Dark Souls. Very it's like, go down choices. this motherfucking alley every time, <laughs> right, you know. Right, right, um, right, right, real yeah. quick, uh, Gargoyles Remastered 2D game is out. This is Hush Al Ghul. Remastered 2D game. I haven't checked that one out. Love the games. $10 Super Chat. Last night, my girlfriend and I watched The Witch using a projector, watching on the side of her garage at night. What's some of your favorite horror movies? Ooh. Oh, okay. He is. I want to make sure I didn't read that wrong, and it was Witcher. Um, so he watched <laughs> The Witch. What's some of your favorite horror movies? Need suggestions. I, Mine are I not going to be out. new. Nope. Yeah, Get Out. Nope, was and Get awesome. Out were okay. Um, I liked Quiet Place a lot. That was a that was, yeah, that was inter. Yeah, I like that one. It was interesting. Um, would you call that horror? Uh, yeah, that's horror. I don't know. I'm picking the ones that are more. Uh, actually, Get Out was more like psychological horror. I, yeah. The, the the one scene I will never forget is when he's paralyzed, and I hate paralyzed. Oh stuff. right, like, not shit. being able yeah. to. Oof. Oof. Not being able to move or do anything. Um, I just don't. I don't like most stuff that has like jump scares and shit. I'm just not a fan of jump scares. I've watched so. him stream jump scares. He's not. He's not a fan. Um, <laughs> for mine, they're all old. They're like the thing and fucking. They live in the mist, which has the best ending ever. Right. Um, what are some? Of, I did like the original William Shatner Twilight Zone of uh, of the airplane. From Twilight, um, remember when he's on the airplane and the aliens yeah, yeah, on the, yeah, the yeah, yeah, I can't remember the exact name, but they redid it for the movie. I actually thought that was when I was a kid. That was haunting. That was in black and white too. Holy shit! I yeah. have a memory of it in color. Maybe they recolored it. But the, the movie was in color. Yeah, the movie uh, was the, in color. That was John. Episode, wasn't that John Sony Lithgow? It wasn't black and white. It was John Lithgow, wasn't it? As yeah, the, it might have been. It, it yeah. might. I think it was John Lithgow as the as the uh, as the guy as the guy who saw the creature and went crazy. John looks crazy already, so it's not a big surprise. Is there any other horror ones? People saying The Exorcist is uh, shiny. I mean, that that's a topic Sleep and I have talked about a lot over the years. Um, mine is still infamously um, Blair Witch Project, probably. Um, yeah, just because um, that's a film that really leaves a lot of its experience to you rather than itself mm -hmm. um it doesn't really show anything um it leaves it most of it to your imagination the and the sort of and your own personal experience with like being in the woods and potentially getting lost or or, or whatever, killed by and, some dude who leaves yeah, wooden teepees everywhere that. yeah <laughs> um or or like old hag or whatever um so yeah and like creepy sounds in the woods and stuff um so still blair witch project um, like I remember watching that for the first time at like 3 a.m. in like 99, I think. Yeah. Um, Old movie. Being pretty creepy. Um, uh, but I'm not generally like unnerved or by horror films, I find them boring a lot of the time because I find they tend to lack characterization um, a lot, uh, which, which I think Blair Witch Project actually has, despite being like a really sort of intimate movie. Um, um, Damn, I was so excited for the Blair Witch game, but it ended up being really bad. I was so excited for I that. It did have a dog, at least. It did have a dog, right? You, could you pet it? Because if you could, then it's worth remember, the five bucks. Dude, um, I don't think so. I, I, all is, I remember well, is playing Snake is, on the mobile. On the there phone. is one Blair Witch <laughs> game that's actually decent, which is sort of a 
a kind of sequel, it's a side or prequel it's a side to, one. Side to, 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 to Nocturne, uh, yep. which is Rust and Par. Um, that one was good. I reviewed that, I believe. Yeah. Um, I will say I got it ruined for me because I thought we thought it was like a found footage, right? And all yeah. the yeah. nobody was saying it was fake. And I'm not saying I believed it, but I was like, oh, whoa, what is it? You know, because mysteries do happen. People do get killed yeah. in the woods. So, oh, whoops. So to me, it wasn't that crazy that somebody might have a weird story. And right before we went to see it, somebody's like, oh, this is, you know, just a filmed movie, blah, blah, blah. And it was, it killed my soul. I was so excited for a real mystery in yeah. life, you know, because we yeah, love right. to destroy all mysteries, yeah. right? UFOs yeah, are yeah, drones, yeah. blah, blah, blah. And you're like, okay, I get it. Yeah, you get yeah. older. <laughs> Guess what? You probably yeah. won't go to space. And you're like, fuck you, you just ruined my dreams. And that's <laughs> the way I felt, man. I went into Blair Witch and I was like, hoo, hoo, hoo. ghosts in the woods, what's happening? And then they were like, yeah, it's, it's, it's not real. Yeah. Oh, God, that killed me. Um, did you guys, I don't really watch horror movies. I mean, I, I pick them and watch them, but I'm not, I, I like Carpenter style, which I guess you would call them B. And I know, uh, uh, Abzi and I talked about this on I Wednesday, do, Wednesday B movies aren't things. necessarily his favorite. Yeah. The, 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 the movie yeah, made by Carpenter, the right? John Carpenter. Yeah. Yes. yeah. That thing. The Kurt Dude. Russell. Yeah. When he gives yeah, him CPR, because I mean, I think oh. it's because when I when I do gravitate towards horror, it is more towards like the character based psychological horror. Yep. yep. Which which the thing ties into very much as well. Yeah. Mm. It was all about those characters having slight, you know, yes. warped sensibilities the and the paranoia building up, and you, and then he gave him CPR and it ate his arms. And I remember as a kid going, Ooh. "What?" <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> It was true yeah. haunting when that happened or the guy freaking out on the couch and the other dudes tied to the same couch and this aliens freaking out tied to the couch. And it, like Abzi was saying, he hates being paralyzed. That guy couldn't get off the couch and he was next to the alien. And I was like, oh, my, would somebody let him go, please? Like, he's obviously not the and, alien. Let that guy and the out. Same, and the same thing to an extent with alien, uh, where the true monster isn't even like the alien, but is like the uh wayland yutani corporation through ash yeah yeah very much so sort of it, it was all about corporations i mean in the end that yeah. is what it was about like sending those guys in all that kind of they're wanting yeah. to use it later in other movies disposable as well. yeah yeah um disposable. I, I would say for me real quick uh just oh, give my answer it's, sorry go for it i yeah, didn't it's, know if you, it's okay. either uh alien or predator those movies for the me were are we talking like, about the original alien the yeah, original predator? the first predator yeah. movie with arnold you know just a classic i can watch it today and have a great time um the first alien or even the second uh you know i liked a lot it was, and and that was scary by the way you yeah. know I, I was one of the few times because usually i dissociate a lot so i'm watching something and even if it, it's you know you're sort of pulled I, 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 back a little bit. Yeah, I, I don't get that scared. There have been a few times like The Exorcist or uh, or Alien where it sticks with me and like I have bad dreams and stuff about it. Dude, you were talking about Predator. It's so weird because Predator became scary in a funny part for me. And I, I was trying to explain to my friend that normally we see aliens, even Alien, is like a dog or bipedal, depending on which one you get. It's like, we sort of yeah. see it and you can sort of, that's why Slither, somebody mentioned Slither, Slither was awesome. But yeah. when it's an alien form that doesn't make sense, like Edge of Tomorrow, where the aliens are these weird blob things, yep. with ten, you're like, whoa, that's scary. Um, In Predator, there's a scene where the Predator is running along a creek and it's running down rocks and whoever they got, I can't, they've got, they got two actors to do this. Kevin but the Peter one, Hall, I think. Kevin Peter, yeah. And he's running and he's not bending his knees, but he's dropping a good six feet, which for most people, your knees would explode. This guy was really athletic. And I remember watching it and knowing there were no wires because you can tell when there's a wire in the older movies. You, there's a floatiness almost. Yeah. And he was running down. And I remember in my brain going, did they film a real alien? What the fuck? No human can do like it was that moment where I was like, what is going on? Yeah. And it sounds stupid, but that's actually when it became scary. When I saw it do something that I was like, my brain was like, that thing is beastly because a lot of times in Predator, you see it. It's bipedal. You're like, oh, it's just right. a rep. It's a reptile thing. And then I see it do something physical or when it pulled the guy's spine out. And I was like, 
all right, that takes a lot of strength. <laughs> like this, this thing is creepy. Or when it took its helmet off and had a big vagina keeps, face. Like uh, it replaced the <laughs> recorded voices. Oh, dude, yeah, itself. the first time, you know, yeah, that yeah. was awesome. Over here, over here, and you're like, dude, that thing is haunting. <laughs> yeah, that was that was awesome. <laughs> Alien was great the first one, just because. I mean, and if you watch yeah. the, uh, ed, the non-edited one where Scarrett, they find Scarrett in the base uh, underneath the ground, and he's covered in like maggots and all this weird stuff. Right. You're like, Jesus, this is this yeah. is creepy as hell. Yeah, yeah. good awesome. question. Um, what else? I do we also got? have a, an affinity for for camp. So a movie like um, the musical version of Little Shop of Horrors. With, oh, like, so Morales good. And Steve Martin. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you do you do you skew towards uh, B or jokey ver in horror versus? Um... Not, not, not really. Well, I guess you don't because Blair don't Witch is towards. certainly not. Yeah. What about uh, somebody just mentioned Nightmare on Elm Street? I found Nightmare on Elm Street one and two really good, but like most horror sequels, they start no, I, to. I, I they they're in that area where I find them boring because they Pretty really boring. lack characterization. Yeah. Well, they're all tropes, right? So the not, dumb girl. Yeah, so I'm not, I'm, I'm yeah. not invested in the plot at all. Yeah. No, like, oh, hey, somebody said Predator's music was good. Yes. A lot of horror movies have the best music, even if it's not really during, like, their themes are good. They've got, like, of course, Aliens mm -hmm. is awesome, but Predator's is very good. True. Uh, yeah, um, some iconic themes. What else do we got here before we wrap this up? I want to make sure. Let me go back and look at what you guys entered. Uh, let's see. Oh, Phil Spencer said he is absolutely open to returning to old games, including Hexen. And I got to tell you guys, if there's a new Hexen, you're going to see a schoolgirl version of Carrick running around, mini skirt and all. Hexen is, <laughs> Hexen is incredible. Yeah. Okay. Have, you, have you ever played it? No. Johnny, you haven't. Silver, you obviously have, right? You played Hexen. I'm looking uh, it up I, right I, now. I played the sequel, Hexen 2. You played Hexen 2. Did you do I'm Hexen? I'm not sure Abzi? if I ever played the original. I Man, have not. They're beyond, beyond fantastic. Power Slave got remade. I would love to see that one get remade as uh, re remade again. But yeah, it's I very... I think Hexen 2 was made in the Unreal Engine, right? The first one. Man, I don't remember. Like that, it, 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 we're, those are ancient, man. Those are like right after Doom 2, yeah. I think. You know, yeah. those are like some some old games. Oh, and sorry, guys. We do have to finish on the main topic, at least. Dead Space Remake dev announced that they are for sure doing Iron Man. I even put it in the thumbnail, and I almost forgot. Um, Who remade Dead Space? Uh, mo not m Motive? Let me click what, this. What, other ga what games did they put out that aren't remakes? Um... Let me look. Iron Man, it is Motive Studios. Um, you know, I don't know off the top of my head, to be brutally honest there, Abzi. I don't know what else they've done. I just Let know Iron see. Man, or I just know the remake for Dead Space was incredible. They did Star Wars Squadrons and yes, Star Wars game. Battlefront 2. Okay. Battlefront 2 got patched to be a good game. But it, yeah. remember, yeah, it started Squadron out with... Was, so. Iron Man game would be cool, man, because uh, we, 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 we don't have that. Oh, they already put it in their, in their main... On their website. Yeah, on their Iron website. Man. Yeah. I, I don't know about yeah. you guys. Like, I'm actually, I really think Iron Man could be, I, I mean, I'm just it sort of thinking. Game. Like, Imagine like it was made like, uh, like the same care that Spider-Man was in terms of like the mobility and movement yep. and how you control them. And yeah, you could do so much, man. You could, or like, it could be a fun, like PC game too. If it's like, you have to aim your shit and like, I don't know. Oh, you, you mean like, Matt, so do you know what I thought of? We, you and I what? talked about it years ago when this first came out, but we were like, man, Anthem's got 30 seconds of good combat. You were thinking of Anthem single player. And I, yeah, Anthem single yeah, player yeah, yeah, that, at the yeah. height when it felt like that moment when you spin around, you launch your missiles yeah. and everything just works. And you're like, this is the best 30 yeah. seconds I've played in a while. And that's over. Right, but right. imagine yeah. you had that well mm -hmm. done. Yeah, that yeah. would be awesome. That would yeah. be amazing. Yeah, dude, I wonder who they'll get for the voice though. It, it, it I, it will never happen. But if it was Robert Downey Jr., I'd be Robert like, Downey Jr. Oh fuck, <laughs> this is great. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. There, there's a couple people who do a pretty good. I, I think the Iron Man VR game. Johnny, you played uh, Iron Man VR, did you not? PSVR? Uh, no, no, oh, I you didn't. didn't okay, that one actually had a somewhat passable fake Tony Stark. So it just depends because <laughs> Iron Man is his attitude. See, that's yeah. one of the problems, right? Like Spider-Man, you said, uh, Silver, right. that you thought Yuri sort of became Spider-Man for you. Yeah, I think, yeah. Too, yeah. Yeah. So with Iron the, Man, the, it's like... Robert Downey's become that for you. For yeah. Yeah. Star. Yeah. Just like Hugh yeah, Jackman Robert is Wolverine. Is him and him is... Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. But like, if you saw Robert Downey expensive. Jr. in a suit, you wouldn't be too surprised if you shot a laser beam out of his chest. You're like, that's Robert... <laughs> yeah. You know, or that's Iron yeah, Man. Right. Yeah. Um, 
I don't know who they would. I, I mean, you know, he'd probably never do it. But I think that yeah. is the one big thing is like the voice. Yeah, he's one of the most expensive actors, right? I think he is. But I will admit he has done side projects for Union Minimum before. I'm not saying a game. I'm not saying he would be like, you know, cheap. But I don't Plus, know. I think yeah, the he, game industry... he would have to be into it. For yeah, sure. I think the game industry is there as well, especially EA would. Like I wouldn't. Uh, maybe I man. Think, uh, yeah, I, 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 I know, I think, know exactly I think, what you're saying. It wouldn't surprise time, you if EA said, "Hey, let's do it." I think. Yeah. I think it's less that um, that it's a, it would be a video game that would be a, a, a block towards Downey than it is that he's just tired of the character. I think. Yeah. He did say he was done, right? With well, the, with the Iron Man stuff. He did, but now you're done until a, you're not. To, you're but... done until you're not. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. they even asked him. Yeah. I think until it was Joe good. Rogan had said, "Is it dead?" And he's like, "Listen, you can't. You know, people are coming back. Yeah, yeah. Like you can't fully. But you are right yeah. that if he is tired of it, he may not. But on the other hand, if you could sell him that this is a game, it's interactive." It's the person right. being able to be, it might sell him on the actor part where he's like, oh, wow, this might be a challenge. I'm, I'm just talking out my ass here. I just, because I would love to see him. It would be, yeah. the, the, imagine the, the same get. Time, it would be awesome. Go ahead. At the same time, Guardians of the Galaxy really surprised me. Oh, and, uh, true. First, like Drax was always Batista to me, right? I and agree. Then, uh, agree. I love the other, the new Drax. Yeah. Yeah. I don't even know who it was, by the way. I don't know who I, played like him. He, I don't he know the replaced the Drax for me as the, 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 the game guy. Yeah. Yeah. Did you feel that Star Lords was a little. Star Lord hit, yeah. but I don't feel it hit as well uh, as. It, yeah. It, not as well as the movie. The What's his name? Because he does a great Batista. job. Batista. The. the yeah, the other guy was way more Gennaro. Not yeah. Batista, the, the guy who plays Star-Lord in the movie. Pratt. Chris Pratt. 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 Yeah, yeah. I don't think that the game guy was way too, gen like, a bit too generic. Yeah. 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 I would but agree. But the Drax and Gamora game Dr oh, version? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. They're they're incredible. They're incredible. Yeah. Dude, Drax, oh, I think he's, like, one of the best. Uh, that was such a good story arc Dude, for him. It, he, I, he was I don't... insanely funny, dude. He was... It... He had that comedic timing. Oh, dude. man. He, he and it's just... so cool to be wrong about a game because I remember when they showed yeah. that and I got to admit, oh, we, I, were I'll, all... go, we were so, dude. All of and us it early looked, impressions, we were like, bro. It looked right, jacked, right, right, right. man. You were like, oh, this doesn't look good. It doesn't look like it plays well. It's like, well, we'll see. And then I remember, like I told you guys, it wasn't very long ago when we talked about this on the podcast, but the one mm -hmm. thing I hate is not being able to tell people when something is good and I'm reviewing it. And I remember just sitting there playing it going, am I it's going not nuts or is this as yeah. good as i actually think it is and then somebody dm yeah. me and was like jesus christ guardians is good and i was like oh thank god <laughs> because i, I feel like I might be. oh it <laughs> yeah, was yeah. and it was and it, it sounds weird but there are times where you're like yeah just like holt <laughs> yeah. you're vindicated yeah. you're like you're am like, i wearing roast tinted glasses yeah or, roast tinted you know? glasses or am i like yeah. not picking up on where this might be in it? and it rarely ever happens yeah. i mean i think we can usually pick apart where something is bad but that game I don't know what happened at the maybe in six months, but whoever polished that needs to polish all games because yeah, throwing they do the rocket right, raccoon. I don't know what and, they did. Yeah, the writing was good because the banter yeah. worked. Right? Yeah, exactly. The comedic that timing game. was just way too good for, for a game. game like, it yeah. was good, <laughs> it was so which is good, weird because that's so hard to yeah. do. Whole IP yeah. kind of hinges on banter. Absolutely. Right? Yeah. Like the banter between the characters yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Well, that's actually what yeah. I was saying is I also believe that Iron Man hinges on the banter, which is why I was sort of going towards... And the choices I... mattered, and, you know, it was just just awesome. Did you guys all throw Rocket Raccoon? Uh, I no. did. I tossed that dude I like the, a dwarf. Because I, I, I played, like, five hours the very first time I played it and stopped for, like, other reasons, and I, mm. like, pissed Rocket off so much. But in my actual, like, full playthrough, I, I did not choose to throw him. Really interesting. What yeah. about you, Johnny? Do you remember if you threw him? Uh, I don't think I did. No, I'm trying to remember exactly, but no, I don't think so. You guys are a bunch of non-throwing bastards. What about you, Silver? Did you throw anybody? <laughs> uh, I still have not played Guardians. Oh, man. Great wait, game. Wait, why? Do you know why? Uh, <laughs> why? <laughs> one of many games in my backlog. That I haven't why to play. haven't you played? <laughs> no, I, I, okay, I got gotcha. you. I just find that uh, I think you would, I mean, I think you would like it. I don't know. It's a good game. Wait, like it's only eight or 12 hours. You should put that on your list, man. I think you would, I think you would dig it. So I have some fun, random questions. First is, and then we'll wrap this up. First is, 
when you guys play an RPG, we've been asked this somewhat, but I, I, it is a good question, so I want to answer it. When you play an RPG character, do you role play the character? It yes. depends on the RPG I'm playing. So yes, from Silver, and you said it depends on like what do you yeah, mean? Yeah, if it's an immersive, if I'm playing, let's say a game that has a sandbox that allows me to be a part of the world, like we discussed. Like let's take uh, Baldur's Gate, let's take Starfield. Those I completely role play. I I role play them. I walk so but even Red Dead, even though I'm, it's not is it an RPG? I don't know, but like I I role play a lot in that game. Um, but if it's a game like uh, Assassin's Creed, you know, like Odyssey, I I don't I don't really role play. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. All right. What about you, Johnny? So it's interesting because even if I'm playing Red Dead and I'm playing a cowboy, I'm still looking at stuff through my own lens. So I'm making decisions based on like what seems cool to me, you yeah, know? Right. So it's kind of like, I, I guess I am role playing, but I'm not role playing as a character. So it's not like yeah. I'm saying, well, my character is this and that, and therefore he or she would make these decisions no yeah. it's you know i'm role-playing in a way like my own yeah i'm the same you know, way i make does me... that make sense yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah so 100%. i guess that still counts but it's yeah no it very it very much counts it it's just count. a different style yeah, of role-playing yeah. um real quick does anybody have to go because there's a couple here and i don't want to hold anybody because i can hold court um, on my own no i have i can i can do the questions these are just some sure. of the questions yeah the next yeah, up yeah. is um it's a weightlifting question, but it says, do you go high, a max or high rep? Um, it, oh, so should, I don't know. Should I answer go for this? It. Yeah. Uh, so basically, um, I, 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 I do different variants, but the one I'm doing right now is the first, uh, let's say, four weeks, I'm, I'm doing like 12 to 15 reps. And then the next four weeks, I'm doing um, uh, like 8 to 12. And then the next... Uh, four weeks is yeah like six to eight or like four to eight and um apparently like high higher rep is uh for mass and uh and lower rep higher uh weight is for strength um and uh another variant would be uh i used to do this thing called dtp which is pretty cool where you superset uh opposing body parts like you pick two workouts only let's say uh you know just back and chest and you you start at 50 reps and you superset and then you just go back to back 40, 30, 20, 10, then 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. And that's it for the day. And that was really cool. It like, it like it destroyed me. Yeah. Anybody else lift here besides me and Abzi? Yeah. Uh, I mean, I don't lift like, you know. But you, you go do. lift. Yeah, go, <laughs> go for it. Uh, I, I think for me, I'm, I'm not like I have a number. It depends on the exercise, depends on the muscle group. What I care about is... Is it a good enough stimulus for the muscle to, you know, be engaged and, yeah, and right. grow? Yeah, right. Because failure. Yeah. 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 Can I, you know, is it a good stimulus? And so uh, I want a good stimulus and I want enough reps to kind of, you know, uh, it's kind be of like tired. strike a balance. So I never go for like full failure. I always have something like four reps in reserve or something like that in my exercises. And that's usually how I, I, I operate. So probably around 15 reps, you know, as an average. Um, so, I mean, I got hurt when I was younger, you know, when you're not supposed to be hurt as easily. But I still mm -hmm. got hurt because a lot of it was like max. Your back or back, and then I gave myself a, a torn, entire torn stomach from bench pressing because it, you know you're a young kid. We all do. It's like yeah, bench press content. You, you know, feel just you're typical. Yeah. yeah, and uh, one thing I did learn was so our maxes for the most part are about ninety percent, and one of the reasons why is because like especially when you look at a muscle, um, if you're at max. That's not only the max of the ability to it contract, but actually to not tear. So like if you're at a true max, you're right there at the end. And yeah. if you fail one time, you most likely will be injured. So yeah, we risk moved of to injury, a, right? Yeah, high, we moved to a a, a, 80s and that I still gain just as much muscle for the most part or still go up as much. And then we do a lot of um, negatives, a ton of negatives. And we do a lot of 21s, which is seven up, seven or seven full reps, then seven half down, then seven half up. And those are probably the only ones I've ever, those make me sore. 
Because I think one of the problems I have is I'll lift, and I do have delayed onset. I don't know if you guys have ever had that, but it too. might go two days. Two days after. Yeah, yeah, and I'll be like, oh, I'm fine. And one time I had really bad compartment syndrome and my triceps from a lift, which was, I mean, like I legitimately thought I was going to have to go have surgery. It was, And it was all from Max. And so we were like, mm -hmm. okay, let's... Let's go away from that. And then your tendons, of course. Your muscle might be able to do something. The tendon might not. So, we, yeah, we went to 80s for almost everything. And I also don't do any... I mean, we lift, but I'm, I like to box more than... I mean, lifting is mm. awesome, but it's not some... And I certainly don't count reps in the same way as you guys do, uh, ever. Like, we do four sets of four, uh, 80, 80, 80, 80, like 80%. We don't do descending, don't do ascending weights. We do uh, negatives, which is where you go like 21 seconds lowering it. Somebody helps you lift it up 21 seconds lowering it. Um, yeah. because that helps the bone. That's another thing. Yeah. I've seen a lot of people get bone injuries or joint injuries from like mm -hmm. heavy presses. And then after a while, when they get older, man, like I, I definitely have a bad shoulder, but I know one of my friends has bad, both elbows are bad. And I, we absolutely mm -hmm. know it's from two things, bar dips, because he probably didn't have perfect form and he did thousands. And over time you wear down a side of your elbow and then obviously from benches. Man, kids, when they're young, I don't know about you guys, but in our school, that was just a big deal. Everybody's benching. Like, it was like, mm -hmm. how much can you bench, bro? You know, it's mm -hmm. that kind of shit. And it's like, luckily I got out of it with only one. Yeah, year. That was after high school. Remotely a thing here. Yeah, mm -hmm. you guys weren't like, you guys are instead no. like, let us debate uh, the wars in China. <laughs> no, and I was no, like, no, no, no. Here, was, here like, it was basically, bitch, even as early as, I want to say, 13, 14, like, how many beers can you drink before you pass out on the weekend? Man, we didn't. Yeah, we. it's so weird <laughs> because it. where I lived, we did not have that. I mean, you did have people get drunk, but our, we definitely had the mm. thing where people would go at lunchtime prior to our PE. Well, they called it PE back then, but phys physical education. We'd lift and then go lift again. You know, you're a young kid. You got a lot of testosterone floating around. So those were good times. But I, I saw a lot of injuries, man. It's so, and you know, when you're at max, you only have to fuck up once and then... I've seen so many of my friends be out for six months because they get an injury and it's just like, dude, that's six months of losses. You know, you're not going to be able to do anything for six months, which really yeah. sucks. And yeah, I've definitely learned to take care of myself a little bit more. And I, I, don't, I don't personally believe you need to be completely fucked after every yeah, workout. Right. You mean, know, what, what yeah, right. Yeah. The same people say, and listen, I'm, I'm no like fucking, you know, bodybuilder, but I've managed to stay pretty healthy, even though having like a chronic disease. So for me, it's like good nutrition or decent, you know, like getting yeah, decent. some decent, yeah. yeah, some decent macros and then good stimulus to your muscles. That's it. You, you know, like you were saying, 80% is great, right? You get a good, uh, you know, a good crunch on the muscles enough for them to, to activate and, and grow. But you don't, yeah, I, I don't, I, I think it's overrated this thing where people say, oh, you got to go all in every, you know, you got to, especially if, you don't if feel they're destroyed not after, a power did. lifter doing uh, a competition or whatever. It's like, yeah. if you want to just stay Let's in be honest, shape, most of us yeah. are not right. right. Like most of the people in chat, they're like, yeah, you know, they're just trying to look decent. And um, I will say also everybody I know who got majorly still is majorly hurt after all these years all of them all of them are from repetitive motion from a kata in martial arts when you learn katas when you're younger in like a strict martial art you'll do these very specific moves and some of them you claude van Dom talks about this all the time he's got one kick that he was known for and it just destroyed his hips it's like they're screwed because yeah. the body isn't made to do you know like ballet dancers will have screwed up feet you know, it's just like those kind of things. So, yeah, you got to be careful with yourself. And like you said, pretty good nutrition, right? None of us are sitting here. We're not Goggins. Yeah, because... Well, Goggins you is could... screwed up. I don't know why I said it that way. Goggins is so broken, <laughs> it doesn't make sense. Continue. Dude, Sorry, what were you saying? No, I was just going to say, because you could, uh, you know, kill yourself in the gym. But if you don't have the building blocks to rebuild the muscle, you're, you know, you're breaking in the process. It's like... Kind of a waste of time in a way. Kulaban also says, "How how long are you guys' workouts?" About mine an are, hour. Mine, oh Jesus! Oh, uh, you go crazy, don't you? Yeah, mine are ridiculous. They're not. They don't even make sense. Like that, an hour would be. Yeah, I wish it's a they warm were an up. hour. You're like you're it's not ham. even a warm up, man. <laughs> we do an hour of 
Yeah, it's ridiculous. But that's just high, it's super high energy and trying to burn it off. That's nothing else. What, what about you, Abzi? What's uh, what what are you usually trying to hit for a workout time frame? Um, well, I don't. Uh, I when I go to the gym, I just do the the muscle group I'm oh, doing right. and leave. I don't do yeah, cardio so there. So, I so gotcha. like if shoulders takes me like thirty minutes. Uh, um, if I'm doing like chest and triceps or something, that would take me maybe like forty five to an hour. Yeah. I just go in, do my thing, and leave. I sort of wish ours were that way because sometimes it'll be like really early in the morning and you're like a third of the way through it. And I'm a counter. I'm, I've always been a counter. And I'll look at that timer and I'll be like, two and a half hours? What the fuck? What am I doing? Like, why don't I just go lay back down? And then I get restless leg really bad if I lay down in the middle of a workout. I've tried it twice. And it's, you guys don't get that, right? You don't get any restless leg or any from no. working out. Have you guys ever accidentally worked out and then gotten the uh, hot tub? I did that and had to have a friend help me walk out. I, d I jumped oh, into the hot tub after a heavy workout and I don't know what it did, but it obviously like, you know, vibrated the muscles, made them loose. And I tried to get out and it was like, I now know how drownings occur. Because if Jimmy, my friend wasn't there, I would have drowned. I couldn't get out. I was like, dude, I'm screwed. And then he tried to get out and then he was screwed. And we were like doing this tug of war. Too was it big cramps Roman. or like <laughs> no, no. it wasn't responding? It was fatigue. It was like we had yeah. lit. He's a heavy lifter and he was a bodybuilder. So I'd like to, I usually like to try to find somebody who's like e equal or better because not because they'll push you, but because if you want to go longer, they're okay with it. That kind of stuff. And he was, he's yeah. insane. Sh he was in insane shape. And Oh dude. Yeah. I think I know stuck. what you mean because uh, I do uh, I do legs, you know, that's part of like me trying to get better at my walking situation is I do legs. And when I, when I do legs, they're destroyed for like an hour. Yeah. You know, I need to rest them. And in that period, it's like, you know. So do you like guys get sick from legs? Because I will say, like Arnold used to say, there's nothing better than like wanting to throw up. I feel that way every day yeah, after yeah, legs. Yeah, I feel that way when I do yeah. legs. Yep. Yeah, I'll do yeah, really hard rough. legs. We'll do leg extensions. We're like 250 and we're just doing, we're Damn, pounding dude. them out. Yeah. And all of a I sudden, out the leg I'll be like, oh. Rock. <laughs> oh yeah. I mean, it's bad on yeah, your yeah, knees, yeah. but it's like, that's the one where, you know, especially for kicking, it's big. But it, it is funny yeah. that legs, man. You'll have people ralphing in the back, you know, from like a it's heavy brutal, leg set. Man. Some people are fine yeah. and don't have any. I've I've seen people lift harder, longer, shorter sets, whatever, and they, they have no mine. I don't know what it is. Even biking. Josh is a really good biker and he'd be like, let's go biking. I fucking hate it. I hate. I would rather run <laughs> beside him. And we went biking one time and I'm like, yeah. dude, pull over because I'm just going to puke everywhere. Like, and he's just pounding out miles. You know, he's, he's, he's awesome on a bike. Like that guy can, he could easily do what, what is that one quarter or one, one third of a triathlon. He could definitely right. do that. Um, let's see, what else do we got before we wrap this up? Wildcard editions. Let me look at podcast questions. I think that is it. Um, did we ask this? Does a main character's attractiveness matter? We we have maybe it was Abzi and I, but we did we did talk about that. We one talked time. about it once when there was like a weird, remotely weird thing yeah. going mm -hmm. around it. But I was there a weird that... thing like uh, Aloy or or, or I think a, a I think um, there's, there's been a f multiple. There have. The years, I think so. there's like a limit. Like I, I I really really didn't like the how the Fable character looked. Like I don't I I, I don't know how. Oh, gotcha. You gotcha. know what I mean? Like sometimes yeah. uh, I just, you know, I'm put off by it. Like, so, so, you know, but, but largely no, largely most of the time I don't care at all. Okay. The big question. Here we go. The big psychological question. Do you have hope for the future? Yeah. Always. Yeah. Not the answers well, I expected. I, did, I didn't. I didn't expect you guys I to did, be that optimistic. I'm, I'm, I'm a very optimistic guy. I'm no, I did optimistic. not expect that to be. That's cool. But just yes, yeah. Okay, yeah. Wow. Johnny. Dude, I didn't expect to be the the like the, the pessimist odd man out. of the yeah. bunch. Because as much as I uh, I am an optimist for a lot of things, when it comes to the future in general. I, I view a strong like twenty percent chance of total disaster, which <laughs> yeah. is very high. <laughs> that is very Dude, high. That people like, don't realize that's we really say high. this often. Yeah. But take take a dice, uh, you know, and and check out how many times like twenty percent comes up. Yes. Yeah. You know, and when when you're kind of considering the future of humanity, and even if it was five percent, that would already be very high for chance of total collapse. And I view it 
as something like <laughs> yeah as a solid 20 percent or something so i i think there's there's a lot of problems to navigate and i don't think there's a clear threshold in terms of like if we make it past this point things are going to be golden right. because you know technology right. will save us and no i i think a lot of the problems that we're facing right now kind of by definition continue unless we change fundamentally as you know as humans and how we do society and stuff uh stephen king had an awesome saying it's one of the best sayings and i think it's in dragon tears but he says we lie to ourselves so we don't spend the day screaming and i would say i definitely lie wow. to myself i definitely am like i have hope around my friends i have hope you know and i'll i will up until the moment everything collapses i will have it but at the same time, you know, it's not even history repeating hope. itself. It's personal. It it's personal um, looking at like one person's personal power being so overpowering, you know, almost like an yeah. emperor of Rome kind of thing, but for a bunch of people. And like you said, the 20% thing, and I was talking about you only have to fail one max before you break something, or before you tear yeah. something. It just, it's like the amount of power in a failure is well beyond what it used to be. It used to be that the power and a failure, it could start a war or whatever, but there was a different process. And now it's like you just, it's like everything seems like it's always on the edge. But again, I'm very positive for the most part, but it, I definitely look at it and go, every time I see something, I'm just like, yeah. It's Rude. weird because uh, there's a dichotomy inside me where I'm very uh, positive and optimistic about my own situation. Right. So I, I firmly believe that no matter what happens, whether it's my chronic situation or whatever, I'm confident that I'll make it work for the best. Yeah, and, right. You know, I'm gonna have a, a great outcome. But when it comes to society at large and you know civilization, I'm much more so beyond my years. So this is I'm already gone, right? Yeah, right. When it comes to that. Yeah, I. Yeah, no, I, man, I, I, I think have, it's rough. I have, I have ahead, pretty so. much the exact opposite perspective, I guess, <laughs> because I'm, <laughs> I'm very pessimistic about my own sort of um, trajectory, particularly given my health situation now, um, and how it's likely to look for the next five or ten years. Um, but what does give me hope, I don't think it's like, it's not like blind optimism or anything for the future, but it genuinely, it's young people. It's talking to young people um, today uh, and how invested they are in in the future that they're growing up in and that they're they're coming up in and and looking at how they relate to the world now and comparing it to how I experienced the people of my generation sort of relating to their world when I grew up. I see a huge sort of evolution there uh, that, and that's really what gives me hope for, for potential change. Yes, it, it, it definitely not the answers I expected. I know that, <laughs> I know that for me, yeah, I have, I mean, it's like, I have a cancer. So it's like, if it pops up again, it's like, okay, whatever. And maybe I'll die, but I don't have a lot of, I don't know, man, it's weird. It's like sometimes I have a lot of hope and then other times I'm like, Jesus Christ, these guys are just, you know, it's not even just these guys, it's humanity as a whole because we are fairly, um, everybody, for the most part, not everybody, but you are trying to keep yourself alive and so when self-interest comes up, you know, sometimes we, like Silver was saying, when I talk to young kids, I train young kids and I got to tell you, your idea of young kids and mine, they don't even meet. They don't even come near each other. Your idea of young kids is a fantasy amongst the ones I talk to. Sure, they sound invested, but they don't want to do anything. To be, For example, even in class, you'll have a huge dropout rate. You'll have training somebody. You'll have a huge dropout rate. It's like once it gets hard, they're gone. And so my opinion is that when things start getting hard, a lot of those people will be gone. But hey, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna yeah, to be with Silver and just hope. They're... There, from my experience, like young people are the ones on the forefront of the picket line, getting arrested and taking those, and taking those knocks uh, to to disrupt things that need to be disrupted potentially. I just see that arrest doesn't matter with a shit anymore. 
So I guess it also depends on where you are. But when I see somebody who is the front of something, I'm like, but what is that? What are you really doing? Like, okay, you're getting arrested. No one cares. Like that person got arrested, whatever. It doesn't, it doesn't, well, it isn't the really fact that you make a change. Got, it isn't necessarily a, that you got arrested, but the, that disruption that you caused before, you, the, the arrest is the consequence of the disruption. The disruption is necessarily the, the source there. It's a good thought process. I, I, I think it also depends on what nation you're in, I would assume. <laughs> There's probably some big, big differences in like, uh, what disruption you can cause before you are arrested or, and we're talking about something that I'm not yeah, really yeah. talking about, which is like picket lines and shit, but do you have anything else before we wrap? Oh, let's not be negative. Let's say there's awesome games. 2023. You still got Alan wake. You still got call of duty three, which I know some people are against whatever it's coming out. Um, what else we got real Yakuza. quick? We got, we got Yakuza. Yakuza. Oh yeah. We got, yeah. um, um, we got rogue trader. Ro Thank you. Yeah. We got rogue trader. That was the one I was trying to remember. Um, and we, we got the Fallout Disco Elysium game that I always forget. The Broken name of. Roads. Broken Roads. I'm glad somebody else forgets game names. Um, yeah. yeah. So those are that's five. And by the way, I'm sure everybody in chat has another five. That's what's like those things. That's exciting. There and that's yeah. by the way in two months. Like that is ridiculous. I think I think November's a little slower. I know I brought that up and people argued, but I would say when it comes to big games, there's a couple and then December is a little dead, which I think is going to be cool for people who want to play all these games that post you know. game awards syndrome, you know? Yeah. They don't want to release anything after game awards. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Game they awards. Just, game... just make it February or January the next year. But why do we nothing give a shit? Yeah. True. Yeah. I see. I'm wanting to. Oh, Avatar. Yeah. Uh, Frontiers of Pandera, uh, the uh, Far Cry Avatar. Right. I, it's not Far Cry. It's actually Assassin's Creed Engine. Far Cry but Tar. If far, oh, is that Assassin's far, Creed Engine? Far, far, far Tar. It's yeah. Far Tar is coming out. So far we got that. We got far that too. Tar. Robocop. Somebody mentioned Robocop. So right. yeah, there's a lot of really good. It's 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 awesome in that in that uh, sort of aspect. What else do we got what before we year? wrap it up? It dude. It's beyond belief. It's be. It's easy to take it now for granted. And 2024 is gonna pay that i have a feeling mm -hmm. too there are going to be games or what have you where they pay Dude, a penalty. I, I can't wait until i can play my old games that i've been wanting to play right well it, silver hasn't <laughs> played guardians like that's an older game but i'm saying that right, like yeah. if it, that's mm -hmm. one and then there's Baldur's Gate or something. Two yet. yeah yeah you haven't even played remnant it, yeah it, dude that's ridiculous how many really good games there are and even myself, it's like no chance of and playing System them Shock, dude. System Shock is another one. I you haven't really played the play. remake of System Shock? Yeah, I haven't. Yeah, that one's really good as well. Yeah, it's mm. just, it, it's weird to say that one's really good. That one's really good. That one's really good, but they are. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Johnny, what are you streaming this weekend? Saturday, 6 a.m. Pacific time, whatever time yes. in Europe. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm streaming Lords of the Fallen. Are you just going to finish this one? Are you going to stream it until yeah. you're done? Yeah, okay. yeah, I'm going to finish it. It's been pretty, pretty fun. Do you? Nothing. I won't even talk. About it. So you're going to stream this one, uh, beat it. And then what's your next game? You know, I don't know. It depends how long, how long it will take me. I think I'm towards the end of the game. But uh, if Alan Wake presents itself and, you know, People are excited to see it. I'll play it. I think that could be a pretty fun stream game because there's quite a bit of story and stuff to riff off on. So, yeah. And since I love the first game, I think it would be interesting too. Sorry, to you cover. reminded me. I got to actually ping the people for that code. <laughs> yeah. um, what about you, Silver or Abzi? Anything cool happening this weekend before we wrap it up? Any, any amazing stuff you guys are doing or you picketing? I'm doing something really, really cool, but I can't talk about it until until it's all said and done, and then I will talk about it. Well, I'm pretty much going to have to hunker down because uh, there's a major storm here. Yeah, you uh, have a hurricane. You guys can't hear it because um, it's raging outside, um, and it's going to like blow until like late late Saturday, um, mid to late Saturday. Um, yeah, we already have like major flooding, like the largest floods we've had in like 
over 100 years. Yeah, Rick uh, Flair Randy or whatever, I think, lives somewhere near there. And he was saying the same thing, that it's just un- insane floods and stuff. So yeah. we'll take care of yourself, hopefully. I'm glad the internet worked because that was one here. Yeah. The internet would be the first, you know, the power and internet no, would be I, the first I mean, thing to go down. Thankfully, I don't live in, like, the worst affected areas. Uh, I live just tangentially sort of to those. Um, so haven't been that. Mostly it's just wind here. Uh trees getting torn up or knocked over and stuff. Well, so there you go, everybody. Somewhat a sad, but still a good ending to the podcast. I want to say thank you to everybody who showed up. <laughs> Ask your questions. Be careful, Silver. Turned off says, be careful. Watch out. I don't think he's going out. Like, you're not going to put no, on some galoshes I, I'm, and I'm walk not, outside. I'm not one of those guys who, like, is a like a. We talked about tourist. that prior. Yeah, yeah. Just walking <laughs> out there out being like, this just to hey, see man, what, what it looks like. On yeah. your YouTube influencer <laughs> channel. Hey, yeah, there's a big... F- <laughs> and it's like, <laughs> silver rip. Yeah. Anyway, that'll be it for us. Thank you, everybody, for showing up, watching the podcast. Thanks to all the new patrons. I appreciate it. I appreciate the people in the Discord. You guys sitting around listening to us yak about games. I hope we... Uh, we introduced you to your weekend in a little bit of a more fun way than normal. Thank you very much, everybody, for watching, and have an awesome, an awesome weekend. Almost said Take week. Care. Man, see ya. That, that's really what's screwing me up. Is we're doing the two podcasts, and I always think it's the.